in in. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey Hello. there, cute cat. I don't think I, I was about to say the the cute cat cute kittens. kittens thing. I, don't, I think I'm legally not allowed to say that though. Really? That's who, like her who, thing. I think. Who is Mr. Her. Cat Man? Okay. Wait, what? Who who says that? Oh, what's her name? She's the murderer guy. She murdered her husband. And then, like, got... Tiger. Oh, uh, Carol Baskin? Carol Baskin, yeah. Baskin Robbins, okay. Well, well they always find out. <laughs> Actually, um, I shouldn't say that. That could also probably get us <laughs> yeah. in some trouble. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 I, I was waving at the screen for some reason. Hi, camera. <laughs> I mean, the camera's right next to the screen. So it you is. Know, I it's, wanted it's... above it, actually, but that's a weird... That'd thing. be hard. Yeah, Anyways, we could make it work. I mean, uh, the cord, we could make the cord long enough. I'm, ways. I'm not on camera. I'm E. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. By the way, I'm Dryer Chaletta, joined today by Robbie. Hi. And E. Hello. Which is the voice you hear. That's yeah. Jesus. I'm like a ghost. Or, or a genie. Or a god. Or the thing inside your head. God. Anyhow. <laughs> um, a narrator? Today, Ro- Robbie will be eating a donut on stream. How? Oh. That is today's goal. Robbie is going to be an adorable, adorable... Uh, what are they called? Raccoon. Robbie. Raccoon. Yes, raccoon. No, not adorable Robbie. I'm never gonna call you an adorable Robbie. I'm Why sorry. Why not? Well, I could. It's just he could. He'd just be wrong. It's weird. just redundant, really. <laughs> it's be weird. Sure. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Robbie's gonna play Donut County. So I, uh, I'm gonna get up and grab the controller for him <laughs> since he's been letting it charge this entire time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, to point this out, this is one of the few games where me and Daria have both played it, but not Robbie. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard of this game before. I've never played it. So uh, before you do anything, Robbie, let me just swap over to the video game. All right. We. There's the raccoon. The audio is better. Yeah, the audio is better. All right. Good. So, good. 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 Yeah, me and Drya play this. Uh, Drya, this is one of the games on uh, Game Pass, and that's the few times Drya plays in any game. Yeah, because uh, I'm one of those people who are like, I'm not gonna give someone who doesn't have money money. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I have a hard time supporting indie games. Uh, it's a problem. It's a moral standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't like people, <laughs> so I don't want them to have more money than me. Um, <laughs> Well, that's yeah. That's why he does AAA because he knows the people who worked on the game don't have more money than him. Yeah, exactly. They're <laughs> never gonna have more money than me. They're lucky if they have get to go home and sleep in their bed. So that makes me feel better at night. Uh, <laughs> so and yeah. only if the game goes double platinum will they even get a money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. AAA is broken. Um, so yeah, yeah. Go, so yeah, I go ahead and in. hit new game, Robbie. Yes. All right, new game. Yeah. Yes, I beat it already. Okay. Liz isn't gonna be pissed at me if I do that. No, this is me. Mira's house. Also, Robbie still has dead voice. I, I do still kind of have dead voice Condition. a little bit. Ben Esposito presents a dog. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's the, who's gonna be the raccoon? Um, I'll be raccoon. All right. When are you coming into work? I'm bored. Quiet, PK. I'm dead. I've died. Can't come into work due, due to deadness. I've tried that. Please have some respect. <laughs> Why are you dead? The honking man woke me up again. At the honk of dawn. Honking? Unbelievable. Don't worry. I'll revenge you. Be careful, dude. This guy really honks. Yeah, whatever. Come to the donut shop and stop eating your dog bread. But he likes bread. He needs bread to live, BK. <laughs> He's a certified <laughs> loaf. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving in five minutes. Bye. This whole time you could have pressed the duck and you didn't. I didn't know what duck did, so. Does duck, what do you mean? 
Does your phone not have that option on it? Yeah, Apparently not. I thought, me, yeah, I thought everything in like the past 10 years had it. Yeah, everything's just duck. Duck or reply. Those are the rules. <laughs> Alright, uh, now you immediately know everything about the video game. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know every mechanic this video game has now. It's just a hole? You're a hole! You're a hole. You know uh, Katamari Damashi? It's that, but with the hole. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. Is that if, except if you were going to destroy everything uh, mm. and not create something out of it? It's true. Yeah. If you were just a chaos raccoon. This is the worst dr delivery driver. He, he just, all the donuts fell. I don't even think he knows where he's going. He's apparently trying not to get absorbed by the hole. Weird. Yeah. I wonder why. Personally, if I see a wandering hole going around me, I go right into it. It's actually a, a promise I made to my grandma. <laughs> the, like, weird grandma who always says the weirdest stuff, and then when you turn 27, you realize that it was a premonition. <laughs> yeah, I actually live in, um, Found Destination 7. <laughs> That's the only. That's the only movie that. That's the only one. That's the only <laughs> thing that does that. <laughs> Don't shock. That's how it works. We're Dude, the honking stopped. Did you actually do something, or, or to the honking man? Duck. Yeah, don't worry about him. That's me. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about him. I just delivered, I just delivered him a donut. donut. That's me. Okay. I'm Raccoon Robbie. <laughs> Let me be oh. a raccoon. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess it distracted him. Hey, guess what? I'm level nine now. Wow. Cool. Duck. 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 <laughs> Amazing technology. I can't believe your phone doesn't have this, Robbie. You don't get it, Mira. Mira? Myra? You don't get it, duck. <laughs> At level 10, I earned my quadcopter. Oh, right. Sick. Congrats. Duck. We're gonna buzz around like kings. <laughs> okay, see you soon, BK. Bonky Kong. <laughs> Six weeks, yeah, six weeks later. later. I'm going to turn our lights down there in front of us. I feel like a little bit just... too bright. I feel like it's too bright. I'll say it looks about the same. Hmm. I mean, they probably look sickly either way. It does look about the same. Maybe that just means Robbie's is really bright. Maybe mine is really bright. Like they're both really bright? Maybe the green's not as green as I want it to be. Well, I don't know. You'll live. Something's off. Myra! <laughs> How? How could you smash my quadcopter? Mm. Who cares about your stupid quadcopter? That's right, I said it. How could you destroy the entire town? <laughs> 999 feet below Donut County. That's the name of the game! Ah, oh, they did it! I've never destroyed anything. I'm kind. Oh my god. What? You used that stupid app to open up holes all over town. And now we're stuck underground. Everything here, everything here looks fine to me. Except my quadcopter! I'M THE VICTIM! <sighs> Will somebody back me up here? You be Potter, E. <laughs> BK, it's obvious that you did it. I got swallowed by a hole right after I ordered a donut from your shop. What does that have to do? With Myra smashing my quadcopter! Potter, what happened to your son? Oh, pup. 
my sweet puppet boy. He must still be up there somewhere. I finally get to be the chaotic raccoon I've always wanted to be. Press A button to deploy hole. There's hole. Chomp. Boop. Boop. So yeah, this is basically Katamari Damacy. Yeah. Well, how's it feel to be a hole? You know you'll never be able to fill it, Robbie. <laughs> One of these days. One of these holes is not like the other. <laughs> oh no, we might get another strike for that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so our last our last last of those video got struck at the six minute mark. When me and E were singing and we it got a mute on it. And I disputed it and I think we won. We won. We might have won. Because it was probably like, yeah, they're just singing shitty lyrics here. We can't do anything about this. Um, I just I just really, I'm really curious what we were singing. I don't even remember. I'd have to look. <laughs> We do just kind of seeing random things. I bet it was perfect on key, though. It had to have been. That's the only way. That's the only way it could have <laughs> possibly gotten struck. Oh, man. So, you guys. What up? You know I like movies. Somewhat, yeah. Me and Liz went and saw The Menu the other day. The Menu? The Menu. How was that? What was on it? Uh, well, actually, they do show you everything that's on The Menu. Um... So the menu is a thriller that's like a mix between Willy Wonka and Saw. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, what if, like, a five-star Michelin chef just said, fuck it, I'm killing everybody I hate? Isn't that the plot of Hannibal? No, uh, no, I mean, he is, like, a great chef. But no, he just eats people. He likes eating people. Wow, Robbie, you broke all the pots. It's okay, I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this man murders. Well, so it, it literally is like 12 people. It's like a super exclusive restaurant. You have to get on this tiny little private yacht. And then from the private yacht, it only holds 12 people. And it's a four and a half hour dining experience. Um, and it's like the best chef thing ever. Like, oh my God. Okay. So um, I have to ask. Yeah. Is the tagline, eat the rich? I don't. I don't think so, but now I have to find out. <laughs> if if not, I think they really missed an opportunity. It is described as a horror comedy, which I guess is apt. Fly away! Fly away! You just killed that dog, Robbie. And I destroyed their home. The tagline is nothing. Boo. Are they not going to have it as Eat the Rich? Uh, actually, I think their tagline is painstakingly prepared, brilliantly executed. Ooh. All right. Willie but Wonka yes, it is It is just a very not vague at all thing about Eat the Rich. Okay. Because it's like, I think they say it's like $1,500 a ticket for the meal. Or something like that, just to get on the yacht or something. Wait, 1500 so, Yeah. That's a lot, but I feel like it's, it's not, like, an unreasonable amount of money. For one meal? Yeah. I feel like it's pretty okay. unreasonable for one meal. For Mr. a I yacht? have all the money in the world. For, on a yacht? No, it's not on a yacht. Oh, okay, okay. They that's just different. They I thought you meant, like, they went on a yacht for 1500 I was like, that's, like, that's a lot, but, like, that's not, like, an insane amount of money. They actually take the yacht to a private island. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, where everything that is eaten is actually taken from the island itself. Hee hee hoo hoo. 999 feet below Donut County. Uh, anyway, More it was incredible. Right, points. I just <laughs> want a surprise pup with a donut. Sniff. Now he's floating away. A lone pup. No, he's not. If you got swallowed first, how do you know Pup is in the balloon? This story's full of holes. Just one. <laughs> Your brain is full of holes. And so is the entire town, thanks to you. Just doing my job. Wait, I mean, not true. <laughs> I'm innocent. 
Wait. Uh, I guess I'm Hella now. You can. <laughs> Wait, Pup is in a hot air balloon? I saw a hot air balloon float by in my ranger station. You saw Pup? Which way was he headed? <laughs> this man has seven different <laughs> <laughs> voices. I, I don't know. I got distracted. I had just ordered a donut. Nice. I get hungry when I'm anxious. Hello, well. <laughs> anxious? About what? Holes. Uh, believe it or not. Snakes. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable... Yeah, that's a reasonable to be afraid of snakes, I think, actually. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> Pineapple lemonade. Weird. That actually sounds pretty good. It's delicious. You like pineapple? Yeah. yeah. You like lemonade? I yeah. do. You like drinking pineapple juice? Pineapple juice is okay. It's great. <laughs> yeah, get rid of those snakes. Destroy that fear. This is actually a metaphor for overcoming fears. Uh, the pup was afraid of heights. This person is afraid of snakes. Just like the menu! <laughs> True. The movie was really good, actually. Whenever it comes out, I might bring it onto the podcast. Fair enough. Can we do like a double feature and we watch like the the original Charlie and the Chocolate Willy Wonka and Ch Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Absolutely, you can do that. I have that in 4K. We've all nice. seen it, but you know, it would just be funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just want it for the joke. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'll do a lot of things just for a joke. <laughs> Chicken. I don't think you should swallow chickens and snakes. I think that's going to lead no, to no, chickens being No, no, it's and chickens. I, no, I'm pretty sure snakes will also eat chickens. I don't think they will. I think anything will eat chickens. I No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Nah. You name one animal that won't eat a chicken. A vegan. That's a human. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to make this, the snake danger go up? Follow your heart, Robbie. Yeah, do whatever you want, man. You're a hole. why that happened yeah I, I like the idea that like they just didn't expect there ever to be snake danger over four yeah <laughs> like, they just didn't account for it chomp chomp this game is satisfying yeah. kind of is scratches an itch a very specific katamari itch i think it's like it's funny because like it's satisfying in the inverse of why Sat why Katamari is satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Because Katamari is satisfying watching your thing like grow, and of course the hole does too. But this one's so satisfying because it's like, it's all gone. Yeah, none's left. It's all clean. Great delivery. Yo, you're almost about to rank up. Oh. Is this that waff everyone talks about? Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, oh man, wah, wah, wah. so <laughs> went to a bar with some friends, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, inv I invited E. It was on a weeknight, so like, right. He right, invited right. me. It was the time I had to make a demo. Yeah. Um, it was a game bar. Man, we we had great. We ate a bunch of junk food. We were playing a bunch of games. But they also happened to have a jukebox there that you can just pay to play whatever you want. It's probably like six in the evening at this time when I've discovered this thing existed. <laughs> I'll continue the story after the dialogue. Lol. Sounds like you should be thanking me for solving your snake problem. Wait. How was it you that opened up the hole? You, wanna t oh, you can't take a second past this. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. What? It was you, not how was it you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just saying, whoever did do it was totally doing you a solid. He's probably a really cool and nice guy. Hmm. Did anyone else see the pup? Or see pup? Yup. I saw pup. 
with my telescope. You mean my telescope? And that's what I said. My telescope. Where did you see him? Well, me and Pepper were feuding again, so I moved my trailer to Mint River. He took a liking to this bird. <laughs> yep, bird made for liking. I was admiring the bird. Till I was hit with hunger. So I ordered a donut by way of this donut county app. Then the hole came. Anyway. So we're in this bar, right? Yeah. I'm found a jukebox. I'm a Guinness and an Irish car bomb man at this point. Not a lot for most people, but I'm a lightweight. Um we're playing pool, and I discovered this jukebox, so I put six dollars in, which gets you a lot of songs, actually. And my first choice, like my, my two friends, they play songs they like, and they're like real songs that like everybody enjoys. And uh, I didn't tell them what I was choosing, and I put on WAP. It was the explicit version of WAP, um, and I play it. And one of my friends is like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I was like, "What?" He's like, "There are children here," and he points, and there's literally. There's literally a mom holding her ears over <laughs> two children's ears. I'm like, oh, well, I already did it. Why were the children in a bar? Well, to be fair, it's also an arcade. It's a barcade. It's uh, still a bar. It's still a bar. There's no children after eight. Um, so there's like a... <laughs> the dogs don't want to go in the hole. <laughs> oh, yeah, there, there we you go. go. You did it. Uh, so anyway, I got to ruin some some children's nights. It was a good time. It was like those kids that went to the TwitchCon concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. <laughs> I feel like you were like that. You were that unreasonable, though. No, it's a bar. You should be able to play whatever you want. They don't yeah. edit it out. There is an option to pay another dollar to skip somebody's song, though. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um. So yeah, you know. Try puzzle solving, Robbie. Hmm. I could introduce so many people to walk. I know you said you liked my experience with it. I did. That was fun. Just the look on your face. I wish. Oh, I wish I could have recorded it. Just for just always have it. <laughs> Every time he feels down, he could have just watched it. <laughs> there goes the wood. It's yeah, there. that wood went flying. Now we'll never know the answer. What? <laughs> How much wood could which chuck? Which chuck? Which there's no woodchucks here. How do you know what's a woodchuck look like? Uh, kind of like a beaver. I don't believe you. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a woodchuck looks like Barbara Streisand, probably. That's rather specific. What is she? Was she an actress? What was she? Yeah. Okay. She's an actress. Actress slash singer. I was, I was like, in that era where everything was referencing her, but like... I didn't ever see anything of her. Was Barbara Streisand a singer? Yeah. What'd she sing? Mostly a bunch of pop songs. Barbara Streisand, the, the pop song. What? Barbara there Streisand? is a song called Barbara Streisand. I, look up I Barbara could Streisand. not sing you a single bar of it. Barbara Streisand. Yeehaw. Oh, this isn't even who I thought it was. <laughs> it's fine, I stick by what I said. You're right. She did sing, Robbie. Yeah, I know. That's what she's like mostly known for. Her, she's only she's like one of those people that have always had an old person face. Like, yeah, even she was a, kind of like a young, just old person face. An old soul. Well, that's the same way I feel about not Halle Berry. Uh, the other one. Uh, the one. Hallelujah. That, the one of this movie we just watched, Red Cars of the Boys. Oh, uh, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. She just always had an old person face. Watching even a lot of Drew she... Barrymore lately. Even whenever she was a child, considering she started acting, she was like five, I think. Yeah, it's the way yeah. she speaks at the side of her mouth. Yeah, like, why is this 27-year-old woman just, like, making baby noises? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> <clears throat> wow. So you're saying you're, like, in love with a bird? Yep. Is that illegal? BK, it's not about the bird. It is about the bird. 
<laughs> Myra, it is about the bird. You're hopeless, dude. <laughs> hopeless. We're all hopeless now. Coyote! I thought you moved away to the desert. I did. BK must be targeting folks who are down on their luck. <laughs> Coyote, you're the original owner of the Donut County Donut Shop, right? Yep, but it went out of business. When the raccoons moved into town. Raccoon. I sold the raccoons the shop and moved out to the desert. Ugh. Oh no, I'm sorry, Coyote. Huh, can't be helped. A coyote's life is like a sad country tune. I made a modest living selling vegetables. Suppose it was my way of giving back to folks. He's so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you that's why you went bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like some carrots? <laughs> They're good for your eyesight. How about some corn? Is that is that true? Are carrots really good for your eyes? Yeah, but I think like, it's not debatable, really. but yeah, I was gonna say if it is, it's like very negligibly better for your eyes. Like how many carrots do you have to eat to like actually make a difference? Like too many carrots. Okay, so the thing is carrots are as good for your eyes as every vegetable, which is yes, they are technically. Well yeah, but vegetables are just good for you. So. Yes. Oh, well, that's just boring, then. It was, it was literal... It was British propaganda? propaganda? Yeah. Whoa. I know. How dare I know. How could it? I think it was British, though. It wasn't American for once. <laughs> yeah, it was like a World a nice War II thing. Yeah, so what... If I remember history right, it was when they, like, started developing uh, sonars. They started spreading that rumor so that it wouldn't be so weird when, like, the British could know what you were doing more. Huh. They just kind of were like, oh, no, you know, they've been eating all the carrots. What? It's <laughs> weird. I could be butchering a bit of that, but that's the gist of it. <laughs> My corn. Uh-oh. Burn the corn. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, God, the ravens. You're not supposed to quote them anymore. <laughs> it's like P anti PC or something, I think. <laughs> Let's keep hearing people say not to do that, so. <laughs> the line is quote the raven, though. Yeah, you're not yeah, supposed never to quote more. them anymore. Oh, okay. It's not PC, bro. I'm surprised I, I'm surprised I didn't know that, that, considering you guys inform me I'm super PC all the time. Yeah. He's the most PC. He's really not, which is funny, but... <laughs> I, I don't know, like, that was just... In my family, that was just, like, a thing people started saying, and I don't know why. Yeah, it was weird. I think it was because I have trans and, like, gay friends, so I'm like, hey, maybe don't don't joke about trans and gay people. <laughs> like, you're just like, hey, maybe don't be a dick. Yeah. I feel like I got the last laugh, though, because uh, my family does not make jokes about trans and gay people anymore. There you go. <laughs> so it worked. I think it did work. Look who's winning. Kind of sounds like a wop remix. You know, that's the next. Uh, I actually heard a remix next match up I'll make for you, Dry. <laughs> I heard a remix earlier today, actually, of WAP that was if the B 52s uh, did WAP. Are they the ones that made uh, the, like, the love shack? Do, 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 do. Oh, now then. Do, 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 oh, do, do, is that do, do. M80? That's Mario. No, it's B-52s. No, the one I was singing, I think, is oh. M80. Mm -hmm. What's the one that does the Kill Bill songs? Uh, if only we all had things that could look up information, but unfortunately that is not invented. Uh, it's not something that exists. Unfortunately, someone does not have a Googleplex worth of information on the internet. It's just not something that exists. I'll look up B-52s. Uh, what is the song that is whistled? Whistle by Twisted Nerve. The B-52s are an American new wave band formed in Athens, Georgia in 1976. The original lineup consisted of Fred Schneider, Kate Pearson, Cindy Wilson, Ricky Wilson, and Keith Strickland. 
Ricky Lewis and died of AIDS-related illness in 1985, and Strickland switched from drums to lead guitar. Huh. Those are apparently the mo two most notable things about the B-52s. Yeah, nothing about their music. Just Love the Shack! Oh, is that one? The Love Shack! Yeah. Love Shack! Look out behind you! Uh, it's gonna get you. <laughs> the Love Shack! Uh, anyway, that's my sad story. BK, don't you have something to say to Coyote? Yeah. Vegetables stink. I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> Too dry. Yeah. That's definitely well, not. Nope. <laughs> it was country, but all right. <clears throat> I mean, like an apology. I'm sorry. You think vegetables taste good? <laughs> Maybe they do stink. I suppose my sweet tooth was feeling lonesome. That's why I ordered a donut from y'all. See, Mira? Why should I apologize for delivering this pathetic, vegetable-eating coyote a donut? You wrecked his business! Twice! And stop saying you deliver donuts. <laughs> what exactly do you think donuts are? Who could say? Exactly. Who can say? The dictionary. Roma gets it. What is a donut without a hole? Wow. Very good question. We should really stop to ponder this for as long as possible. Uh, a donut without a hole is still a donut. Yeah, like a jelly donuts. Long Johns, fritters. Donut holes. Wait, donut holes don't have holes? They don't have holes, they are the hole. Wow, that's pretty deep. And don't change the subject, PK. Nikki, Roma, you two just moved to Hopper Springs, right? E. E? Yeah. I thought Robbie was in, so. Oh no, I was Roma. Oh, okay. Yes, we moved out of our retirement. To watch the bunnies. Bunnies at heart, Nikki and I. Married 40 years. Did you order a donut too? Roma got a new phone. So we ordered donuts to celebrate. Speaking of donuts, what's your guys what's your guys' go to donut? Ooh. Boston cream. Ooh. That's pretty good. If I can only have one donut, it's gonna be Boston cream. Like, if I can have more, though, Boston Cream's a starter, and then glazed, just like a normal glazed donut, and then probably like an old-fashioned. What's an old-fashioned? Uh, It's how donuts used to be, I guess. Bagels? No, they're like crunchier, kind of. Like, they're not fluffy, really. They're kind of like a cake donut, but what mm. if a cake donut was like fried harder? So they have very crunchy bagels? edges. No, they like crunchy edges, but then they're like they're gooey on the inside-ish. They're, they're weird. I love them. Super, super good. Robbie? Nah, I'm pretty simple. I do, like, chocolate sprinkles. I've never been a sprinkle guy. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're they're mostly just an additive. You just gotta, like... Yeah. You I gotta think, respect them, really. I think, like, for me, it was because, like, my teeth were fucked for so long. You know? Yeah. yeah. that's fair. That, you like, probably if got I, them stuck between your teeth. Yeah, exactly. Like, they got like, get stuck in the teeth holes. So, I, that's probably why I, like, stayed away from... Sprinkles for so long. Yeah, that's pretty fair. And then I'm a custard de custard eclair slash long john kind of guy. Long john's good. It's nice because like the shape is exactly what you want. Yeah. You can just fit the whole fucking thing in your mouth in one go. Honestly, so like the grocery store I go to uh, commonly will be like, uh, these donuts are almost a day old. Let's sell them for a dollar <laughs> and every now and then there'll just be a whole box of long johns for like Fuck a dollar yeah. and that's the best that's the best one yeah yeah i unfortunately don't get to see which flavor they are <laughs> um I'll, I'll eat the chocolate long john but it's not it's not my favorite yeah you want like the pudding robbie did you saw get soft okay there it goes maybe <laughs> it's going catch it Hey! Whee! Oh shit! 
Look what you did, Robbie. They're breeding in the hole. You done it. Now you done it. Now we have to change the rating on this game. <laughs> That's one thing that must be nice about being indie and like releasing first. What? Just like, I don't really need to rate this if I don't want to. Uh, if you want to be on any console, you do. Yeah, on console at that point, I'm sure. But like on Steam, you don't have to have a rating, right? Technically, no. Kinda like, a, no, but kind of yes. It's like, if you're mature, you do need to say this is a mature. Yeah, game. like you could say, like, sure. this is what you, to expect in my game. Steam, like, is weird with ratings anyways. It mostly is just what content's in your game, rather yeah. than M-A-L-G. Hmm. That is a strong-ass bunny. I think that's more... I would I would say that's more Steam being Steam than, like, indies don't need to have a proper rating. Oh, okay. I think if, like, Steam just decided that every game needed to be rated properly, then it would. Then every game would. Killed him. Yeah. Destroyed the carrot house, Robbie. How do you feel? You feel good about that? I mean, I feel like there's just been a bunch of bunnies breeding in my hole. Mm, I don't like that sentence. <laughs> I, I prefer when that doesn't happen myself, yeah. Yeah. I, I would probably lash out too. Yeah, I think I'd be mad if there were just a bunch of bunnies in my hole. Great delivery. Before we, what are these guys? Can you guys? Do you guys know? I don't even fucking know, are they, man. Are they I capybaras? Look like Go to the Trashopedia. They're probably in there now. Oh yeah, maybe. It's an art. Artwork? That's what Arthur is. What do they do? Clench their yeah, imagine loving carrots so much they want to live inside of one. Bunnies look chewy. the lady in the show. Nature. Bunnies want to destroy everything. They don't know why. True. Cute, but will not be fooled. There's no taste like fresh dirt. Dirt spoon. I did not ever Let's go to my trash pee. water and water every day. It's still it's boring. It's a funny stuff. It's like going to the trophies in Smash. Right. Nope, they're not in here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Early type of tablet from when it used to be used as a piece of furniture. Fair. I think Ravi is right. Aardvark's probably the best guess. Yeah, that's my guess at least. Maybe Capybara. Capybara? Isn't uh, that like a martial art? It's the largest rodent. They're really cute. They are. Capybara. I kind of want to pet one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they could definitely be Capybara. Um, I actually know an artist I follow and interact with just has a pet capybara because they uh, live in <laughs> South cool. America. What was the other one? Aardvark. An aardvark. Aardvark. Oh, man, they could be either. Right? We'll never know. They're undetailed the enough that we'll never know. never know. It's really cute that you two are so in love. Night and day uh, belong to love. It's oh, that's Aardvark. It's true. Now that I see him again. Uh, <laughs> this is extremely gross. Relatable. <laughs> You're gross. No, I'm not gross. You love trash. You love trash too. Everyone here loves trash. Why else would you all make so much of it? Are everyone's homes just trash to you? Mm, yes? Don't say that about my trailer. Yeah, don't mess with Peppa. Yeah! <laughs> what happened to your trailer, Pepper? Well, after me and Salt Split, I went to Joshua Tree Park for some peace and quiet. I brought my laptop also to watch bird videos <laughs> <laughs> it is about the bird that's like that Boink. 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 all little rocks peaceful I really want to play night in the woods again 
We've That's a good game. It. I heard. It. I know I already played it, but what if I do? I said, it? No, I said we've all played it. <laughs> oh, I, I no, I just say I want to play it again. Uh, like it doesn't have to be for the stream. He just wants to play it for the sake of playing it. Yeah, I love that game, but I don't think mentally I could ever play it again. Why not? It's too much. Like just too difficult. It does get pretty to get through. No. It gets pretty dark towards the end. Not that either. Just it would take too much energy to play again. Oh. <laughs> it's there are games I'd play again, but. Night in the Woods is a very specific type of game that I don't think I could. Hmm. That goes all the way down to 9,000 feet under. So that crow's just holding on a thing that's on fire. I feel like a crow would. Yeah. A crow would use it to like burn a someone's house down so they get to the crackers in the drawer. King Orc says, will you guys play Kaisto for stream? I don't know what that game is. Uh, so maybe? Callisto for stream? Callisto Protocol? Oh. Um, I don't know. What is that? Crystal Protocol is the not dead space, dead space. Oh. Um, I mean, chance are me and Dry will play it off stream just for the sake of playing that game. I, I almost want to save people from me playing it on stream. I also want to save people from you playing it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you and Robbie just, like, do, uh, I guess you, Robbie, Sam, whoever all plays, but... Um, if you all do it, that that would probably work. I just, I'm already bad at most shooting games, and I feel like that one requires quite a bit of extra. It requires skill. being very good at shooting and then also not being a scaredy cat. Yeah, those are two things I ain't. Or is? Two th is, is you is, is you or is, is, or is you, you ain't, ain't my, my baby. baby. Thank you. <laughs> I love that song. Uh, Robbie, I don't want to alarm you. I think you're causing damage. It's just trash. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh wait, shit! Burning trash is illegal. I forgot. I don't. I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not particularly. It's it's weird. I have like an uncle from like a weird state. I'll just say that like, and they just can burn trash. It's not illegal everywhere. I feel like it Here should very be. much is, but <laughs> other places not so much. I feel like that should just be like, by like a, a countrywide ban on burning trash. Yeah, it should just be illegal to burn trash. Not though. Mm -mm. Trash is trash fumes are good for you. So it's Anybody in like the military? Whole, like Simpsons thing about how like they have uh, a tire pile pile that's like perpetually on fire all the time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Work. Boop, bark. Have a garbage day. Garbage day. <laughs> what movie is that? It's a uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Two, I believe. Can we Can watch we... just that one instead of the first one? Yes, just I'm so yeah, totally down for that. We absolutely could do that. Well, Silent wait, Night, Deadly Night Two. Good? Neither of them are good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's like five movies in that series, and none of them are oh. good. Um, and almost the entirety of the first movie is in the second movie. So ah, you're you're all set. Well, there we go. It's garbage. We could absolutely do that. Garbage day. Uh, question here. You didn't save the Joshua trees because you were too busy looking at bird videos? Well, I... <coughs> They're hundreds of years old. <laughs> so old. But... You and your brother have issues, dude. Admit it. No, I, I wasn't looking at the bird stuff at the time, okay? Then what were you doing, Pepper? I was writing an email. To a bird? On the bird app? No, you trash fucker. To my brother, <laughs> Salt. Excuse me? I was writing an apology. I shouldn't have smashed your lava lamp. And I shouldn't have ate the lava. <laughs> it was wrong of me. Pep? It's alright, dude. The lava is the best part. Aw. Aw, oh, hey. Lol. So, I've reunited feuding brothers. Solved a civil servant's snake problem. 
given a child the gift of flight. I'm a hero. Hey, you. Hair guy. What? Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I have a better voice from all good. Okay. What do you do? I sell explosives. <laughs> oh, sweet. I mean, that sounds unsafe, dude. Concerned citizens would probably want your fireworks stand blown up. <laughs> For safety. Oh no! I run my business completely above board! I have the most permits in Donut County! Playing with fireworks is safer than driving a car! King, I can kind of see that. King Oryx says new insult and loss, <laughs> I think, for trash fucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, trash fucker! Yeah, it's pretty good. Never met anybody who fucks trash. Noel, well, I actually... Think, I think it's one of those double meaning insults where, like, they could fuck trash, or they could just be a fucker that has trash taste. There is a trash fucker trilogy of films, actually. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna guess what they do. Is it like American Pie? No, it is... <laughs> what is it called? It's a dogma video? Um, it's like... I think that's what they're dogma? called. I think they're called dogma movies because there's like rules you have to go by and it has to be extremely minimalist um and then they, it's just a movie it's bad they're bad i'm pretty sure it's mm. dogma dogma cinema I'm, pre I'm gonna double check this so not literal dogma dogma 95 is what it's called dogma 95 is a 1995 avant-garde filmmaking movement founded by the danish directors lars von trier and thomas vinterberg They fuck trash. Um, Dogma 95 Manifesto and the Vows of Chastity. Danish is Kishtelofter. These were rules to create films based on the traditional values of story, acting, and theme, and excluding the use of elaborate special effects or technology. It was supposedly created as an attempt to take back power for the directors as artists, as opposed to the studio. They were later joined by fellow Danish directors Christian Levering and Soren Grog Jacobson forming the Dogma 95 Collective, or the Dogma Brethren. Dogma, pronounced Tsaul, is the Danish word for dogma. Uh, one of the movies that Lars von Trier made, I believe, is in his dogma stuff, was called Trash Fuckers. <laughs> oh, look at that aim assist. <laughs> that was quite the aim assist, I'll give it that. <laughs> All right. Hey, more popcorn. I'm gonna put something in Google. I'm gonna regret later. What, trash fucker? Trash humpers. That's what it's oh, called. Okay. Trash that's humpers. They had to get that PG-13 rating. <laughs> uh, trash humpers, a film by Harmony Corinne, actually. By Harmony Bull. All right, all right. Um, yeah. I'm gonna let uh, you guys look at the cover there. There's cover for trash humpers, Robbie. Oh boy. That that is definitely some trash humpers. It's a real movie. Gross. It won awards. Weird. The most trash taste. Shot on VHS camcorder and blown up to 35 millimeter pseudo found footage extravaganza that literally screams, look at me, I've still got it. And annoyingly sort of proves he does. Uh, apparently people <laughs> love this. That is the best <laughs> review I've ever heard. <laughs> He's very frustrated by the fact that this director still can make movies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here is actually a shot you probably have seen of this movie. I doubt it, but I've never seen this. No? You've never seen that? No? That looks like something out of Jackass. Yeah, yeah. Dre, it does, I, I don't want to alarm you. Most right. people don't look up trash humping. Really? Yeah. Weirdly enough. That is shocking. Anyway. I also, you know, like, I feel like those tears, like... There's like normal people, people who want to watch American Pie for the scene, and then like that after that. <laughs> then guy who looks up Trash Humper. Yeah. I like, so I saw a guy fuck a pie. Now, what's the next level? <laughs> I like that I know that's all that movie's about, so I can never, ever watch it in my life. I mean, it's not what it's about, but it's just one scene I just like it. that. Yeah, I just like the idea of like, this is a movie that scre our Screams the director saying, I still got it. Damn it, he still does. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so, like, exhausted by the fact that he ha he liked it. <laughs> yeah. So what you think? Good movie, huh? 
I guess. Yes. Ten Fun out asshole. of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Shaka laka. I was just cleaning up the neighborhood. Who else has a gripe with me? I do. Well, my gripe is actually with Mira. Ooh! Now you're in for it, Mira. Coco? Well, Mira, know the detail. Uh, well, Mira knows the details, but I figured everyone should hear. <laughs> Even the bird weirdos? <laughs> yes, tell them. <sighs> I knew the raccoons were making the holes. I knew the whole time. <gasps> Gasp! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a delayed reaction. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you know anything about coyotes, it's that they have a delayed reaction. <laughs> How many snakes would it take to defeat you? You got a cursor. There you go. <laughs> it would take a duck amount. Well, it's like the old thing, like, could you defeat a, a duck-sized sneak or a snake-sized duck? <laughs> Normal size, but you gotta fight in a tiny room. Uh, okay. Hmm. Probably 1,000 snakes. Lol. Okay, except for... I expect a shipment soon. You haven't looked into, uh, looked into the disappearances yet? Duck. 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 Hi, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I just love you could just ruin the pacing of any conversation. Yeah. No. Duck. <laughs> it disabled the duck button. <laughs> you have to wait for a reply. <laughs> Sala hasn't answered his phone in days. Talk to Possum? He said he has info. Possum told me that R that the earth is hollow. And flat at the same time somehow. <laughs> duck. Duck. The earth is a duck. <laughs> Mira, you know ever since those raccoons moved in, duck. Folks have been disappearing. Folks have been duck. duck. <laughs> <laughs> and you work at their donut shop. I don't know, the raccoons treat me really well. And BK is my friend. Duck! <laughs> You're ducking the question. <laughs> I ordered a donut. Why? Duck! <laughs> I want to see how they taste. Duck! I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Shnee asks, what genre is this? Whatever genre Katamari and Watam are, I guess. Yeah. Art? <laughs> Art? <laughs> <laughs> It's a make all the things go away. It's a collect. It's. I think it's a Pokemon, actually. <laughs> yes and no? You gotta catch them all. I really like. I don't know, because, like, I don't know what I would call Katamari either. Yeah, I don't. Like, I think, though. I think games like these just transcend a genre. <laughs> this is a whole game. This is whole game. Technically, it's a whole genre. Okay, here's like a fu semi fun, uh, kind of depressing fact. Okay, I um, love depressing things. So, there was like a dot .io craze where it was like a bunch of multiplayer games that were like something dot .io that had like a very simple gimmick sure. and like thousands of people get in. Um, uh, the biggest one's adg.io where you just eat other people and become big. Pac-Man? No, like you're just a blob. Oh. And you, eat, uh, and you can eat... Most similar to, like, Feeding Frenzy, the fish thing. Okay. Anyways, uh, all that set up to say uh, there was a phone app where it was you were holes and tried to make yourself bigger and bigger by eating stuff, and you could eat other people's holes. And hmm. it was exactly this. Oh. But a multiplayer game. What came out first? This came out way first. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, in fact, they actually were contacted about it many times they were like hey this just is donut county and their response is oh well it's it's the same genre but <laughs> and what genre is that exactly yeah it's and a whole game like the the devs of donut county actually like wrote up a whole thing about it and were like 
Yeah, so uh, apparently we're just both part of the same genre of two games. <laughs> and, like, it is funny, but it is sad, like, because the other game makes money because it was, like, a free phone game with a bunch of ads. That sucks. Yeah. Look at Robbie getting those lizards, though. Also, King Ork says, this is clearly a gotcha game. You do got the people by yeah, you, murdering them. You do gotcha them. Gotcha. <laughs> Shani says, hmm, there's some holes in this plot. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> King Ork said, didn't mean to make a leak, please, because he wrote the whole die IO. <laughs> I don't know if that's the... I'm actually pinning it now. Uh, I'm going to oh, click it. I'm going to see what happens. No, no, it's going to take you to a game, probably, and well, it's also a virus. See. Careful, this link will take you to hold IO. Are you sure you want to go there? Confirm. Um, shoot, I can't... It doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. Okay. Well, if it is, it's not real, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we don't, um, we don't, <laughs> we don't ban Link. We should state that, probably, but... That we ban Links? That we don't. <laughs> oh, that we don't ban things? Yeah. Don't, don't abuse this power. <laughs> <laughs> Please and thank you. Aw. How's he gonna nap now? Why did he take a nap if you ordered a donut? Mostly when he wakes up, he's just full of energy for donut. He probably has to pay for the donut. Well, yeah, but... He has to accept the donut. Well, they'll wake him up. And then he'll be ready for a donut. Would you want to wake a random person? Are they going to give me money? Maybe. Then maybe. It's like a 20% chance. They I'll might also just yell at you for an hour. I'll take, the, I'll take the chance. I get yelled at for free every day. That's true, actually. Well, not for free. You do get paid to get yelled at. I do get at. paid to get yelled at. It's just yeah. not in your pay uh, grade or whatever. <laughs> whatever the phrase is. Actually, now it is. It's very annoying. Oh. You you are HR. Gulp. Now. I'm close. Not close, actually. Not even close to HR. But... Great delivery. I think I told you the most ironic thing about the, our HR lady at work, right? She sleeps with everybody? No. Her nickname is BJ, though. Mm. BJ HR. I need to go talk to BJ. I need yeah. to get with BJ. Yep, I can see how that name would be abused. So just well, like one of the actually, maybe like, that's why she's in okay, HR. Talk, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. It's like a weird trick thing of like, oh, if you laugh at her name, then, you know, you report to HR. Just like, by the way, everybody, my name's BJ. Looks at everyone <laughs> intently. <laughs> my name's BJ. <laughs> King Ark says your manager sounds like a nice guy. <laughs> Shnee says, oh, this is Tremors. Oh, Kinda, man. yeah. What genre is Tremors? That could be whatever genre this game is. It's just a B movie. <laughs> Alright, this game is B movie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you haven't seen Tremors, have you? No. Oh, it's about fuck, worms? Man. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, how long has it been since you've seen Tremors? Oh, it's been a while. Good movie, though. Ah, oh, so fucking good. Alright, next year. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Coco. Mmm. It was my fault you got put in the hole. I should never have taken the job with the raccoons. What the? I thought we were friends, dude. I thought we were too. But then you ruined my town. Well, I don't get it. I tried to help when you asked me to. I bought the catapult upgrade for you. Even though it's a waste of points. You told me with that catapult, or uh, you could launch everyone back out of the hole. Yet, here we are, in the hole. Mm. Chickens are not a waste of points. It's a dollop on the head. You offended her. Bark. <laughs> Uh, no? Kiss her? You will kiss her! <laughs> Balk. <laughs> no! It's the least you can do. After stealing all of our eggs? I didn't steal the eggs! They fell through the ground. Balk. Just... Tell your story, Jellybean. Times were tough on the farm. I had to sell my prized rooster to make ends meet. Dollop was very upset. Bok. 
Schnee says, fuck the raccoon. <laughs> uh, King Ark says, trash pandas cannot be trusted. They're actually called raccoons. It's the proper terminology. Oh, he's stroking that chicken. Well. <laughs> totally not any innuendo at all. No. Man, that raccoon is so cute. Oh, hard that's hell. how they get you. <laughs> Put a hard hat on anything. It's adorable. Well, not on anything. Yeah, I was going to say. Anything but a human, basically. Yeah, really. Put a hard hat on a cat. Cute cat. Put it on an alligator. Cute alligator. Oh, Put adorable it. alligator. Put it on Jeff. Nah. <laughs> You can't just like list things that are cute and then say they'd be cute with a hard hat. Alligators are not cute, but they are cute. No, they're not. Yeah, they're like ah. Yeah, exactly. They don't ah. Yeah, that's not cute. Adorable. No, absolutely. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Bye, raccoon. Why did you deliver a donut to Coco? Duck. He ordered one? Duck. <laughs> What's the problem? PK, this is too much. Too... You have to buy the catapult upgrade right now and fix things. Duck. Duck, duck, duck. Duck. But I, I gotta, gotta save, save up for my quadcopter. Do it! You promised! Duck. Duck, 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 duck. She's pissed. Duck, 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 du
as one does. I'm more man. He didn't put any like powder. Well, egg, and then flour, then egg. Yeah, that's what I then mean. Then seasoning. He just said egg and chicken. Yeah. That would not give you fried chicken. No, that would just give you eggy chicken. I actually started like fried put, things, like frying chi fried chicken in particular. It's great. Yeah. It didn't occur to me I could just make that. Yeah, you can just do it. I was actually talking to Liz last night, and what? you can like, I, you can just have Thanksgiving dinner whenever you want. Turkey is kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah, turkey is expensive, but you can just nothing's stopping you. No, you can just do it. It's like breakfast. There's no rule that you can't eat breakfast whenever you want. And I do. I eat yeah. breakfast whenever I want. I don't even eat breakfast. I just replace another meal with breakfast if I have to eat breakfast. Yeah, it's fucking because breakfast is the best meal. The food of breakfast, rather. I don't know. Tell me you're not going to, like, just accept some eggs and pine pineapples and pancakes. I, I mean, pineapple is arguably a breakfast <laughs> food, I guess. If someone just offers me pineapple, I'm going to say I don't know if I'd take it. I, well, I don't mind pineapple, but, like, I don't want to just eat pineapple. What? You don't want to just eat pineapple? No. You're not going to sit Weird. there with, a, so, like, a few slices of pineapple? You're not going to munch that down? Mm -mm. You're not going to let that eat your tongue away? No. You're broken. I don't... I don't. I'm not particularly fond of the pineapples. What? I'll eat them. I like them on stuff, but I. I it's not a go-to thing for me. Man, really? Yeah. You had to like. How? When's the last time you had like fresh pineapple? Uh, I don't know. Last year. Man, and you say it's been a while for me since I've not had a fresh fan though. Pineapple. I don't like mind it. I'll like eat. I mean, sliced. I'll definitely eat it, but I like want it with other stuff. I don't want pineapple. Huh? See, like I'll just eat some fucking pineapple. Pre preferably, I'll put some chamoy and tahini on there, obviously. Sure, but put some chamorros on there, sure. Do you know what chamoy is? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. What is it? You've had you had to have had this. Chamoy? Yes. Is that when you like do the thing with corn? And they make street corn? No. No, that's a lot of that's, Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's chamoy? Chamoy is like a red sauce. It's kind of fruity, kind of not fruity. I don't think I've ever had this. Really? You've never had, like, fruit with chamoy and tahin? No. Really? Where are you? What is... That's what a is great... chamoy and what is tahin? Tahin is just like a, 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 a seasoning, spice. It's like a No, I've board. never heard of this. I've never what? heard a single human being ever talk about this. How have you never had this? When would I have had this? It's just a bunch of fruit, right? And you get some lemon juice, some lime juice if you want. Um, you just get a bunch of chamoy. And then tahine and delicious. You know this, Robbie, right? She apparently tells sure. me I've had this. I don't ever remember having this. This you've, does not sound familiar. You've had to is have had Is it like a this. Mexican candy thing? I mean, no, but it's the, the tahine is kind of like the coating on a Mexican candy. Shani, when have I had this? Mexican <sighs> candy? I've had Mexican candy. Yeah, but like that is different to what's being described to me. It's just delicious fresh fruit. Just melons and whatever, whatever really, whatever you want really, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, okay. That he's make like a he's specifying I've had tahini. Yeah, tahini is on Mexican. Candy. I'd buy. I've had this spice. Yeah. I don't think I've had this thing dry as describing. It's just fruit with chamoy and. How have you never had this? When would, I just don't know when I would have had this. Shnee, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like you know the thing. <laughs> It, it's a cup, and it, you just eat it out of the cup with all of this deliciousness. Shani has informed me chamoy is used in Spanish rice, so I have had chamoy as well. I I've had all the elements of what you're describing. I've just never <laughs> had them together. Well, uh, th I, we can't have it in the winter because it's too refreshing, and you'll freeze to that. <laughs> I drink cold soda. <laughs> like how it I'll, works. I'll, like, bike in <laughs> freezing weather to get a cold soda. Well, I, I still have a huge thing of tahini and chamoy because I don't eat this very often, but it's delicious. All right, I'll make it next week or something. Uh, apparently, I need to have this. We can have it on the stream. Uh, epic fruit with chamoy and tahini stream. I swear to God. You don't we, get to see my reaction. but We have to do a ranking of edges. I, I want to. It would be so fun. We have to do it. Like edges of uh, baked goods, Robbie. Yeah. To... Sure. Robbie, I don't give a shit. Oh, right. It's things are happening. Yeah. Uh, BK. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. It's hard to use the catapult. I think the holes only really good for destroying things. It must be designed that way. It kind of eats <laughs> things up. Designed? 
Don't look at me. I didn't design it. But you used it. Well, what else could I use? I don't know. You could have used real donuts. Could a real donut have saved poor Bear Claw from certain doom? Save me? You humiliated me. You were getting hunted by bees! I'm a hero. You ordered a donut to the middle of the forest? Yep. I guess it's suspicious that you'd offer to deliver donuts all the way to the middle of the forest. Hunted by bees? Look, look, look. It's a tough job. Sometimes you get hunted by bees. <laughs> so she has given no update if he's heard of what you described. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume he also has never eaten fruit with chamoy in. I'm looking naughty. up a picture. I just like I can't think of any time I would have ever eaten it. I don't. We don't eat fruit when I'm at my Mexican family, so I, it wouldn't have been there. Images. It's not a thing my family would make. I guarantee you. No. I no. I've never had that. I don't, it looks familiar. I don't. How have you guys never eaten this? I'm gonna mock you in front of Liz tonight. That's fine. There is some. I. How long have you known me, Jiraiya? I don't know. Like, why like, is this your whole it, life? Like, why is this like surprising <laughs> to you? That's just weird, man. Like, how have you not? It's just like present. It just like exists. I disagree. I genuinely. You're the first person I've ever heard talk about this. No. No, I don't know of any people who like have a fondness for eating just like r assorted fruit. What do you mean you don't know it? That's people. People love fruit. Yeah, but like no one like talks about it with like a fondness. Well, like you're... they like fruit, but they're not like giving the impassionate speech you did. Well, you're talking to the wrong people. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you missed. Nah, <laughs> you're bad at throwing frogs out of a hole, Robbie. <laughs> yeah. You think you'd catch those bees? Or <laughs> said he grew up in a very anti-fruit home. <laughs> yeah, you know my <laughs> my parents were very worried about me growing up fruity. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, fuck those bees! I don't up. know. Like, yeah, I, I, we didn't like prepare fruit. We just had fruit. Weird, man. I don't. <laughs> it's just like a summer thing. You just like eat it in the summer. It's refreshing. You know what was like the cool fruit thing we did? Sometimes we would buy a pomegranate. That's not cool. That was cool. I love pomegranate. Yeah, but that's not like you're not like a hip person for eating pomegranate. That's what I'm saying. Like that was the that was the extravagant thing we would do <laughs> is eat pomegranate. <laughs> Weird. I just, like I don't know. Like fruit's so good though. I'll have to ask my friends if they've heard of this either. I'm gonna guess no because it sounds very like. Spanish? Yes, it's extremely Mexican. <laughs> and my friends are whiter than snow, but... <laughs> whiter than the White Walkers. Listen, my friends can't eat hot wings. Just any. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> I can't eat these hot wings. <laughs> yeah, it's too she, hot. She, she's got it down. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie. I was going to... All right, the joke I was just going to make it just like, I can't eat these... Um, or eat these hot wings are too hot and like, I'm like what are you talking about they're parmesan are right, they're the parmesan flavored ones <laughs> yeah I, uh, from the stories i've heard i think yeah yeah the sneeze says we had apples and lunch feet yeah that's what we had <laughs> <laughs> we had apples and bananas i just so strange like i feel i just felt like this is a thing that everybody ate no fruit is like a side you just eat a fruit. It's like it's a snack. It's an afternoon snack when you're really hot. Well, Trya, that's your mistake. We didn't have snacks <laughs> in our uh, house. That's, remember? That's true. Yeah. We, we just we didn't have like a snack food house. <laughs> Whoa, that's trippy. Bees are always making dessert. Oh, that is good. Yeah, I think trippy, he's talking about, yeah how the honeycomb Whoa. is just an image in the background and it. Yeah. I don't know like what it's called. I actually love when. 
shows and games do this. I kn the biggest one I know is a, a show called Chowder, where like the patterns on every character's oh, clothes, yeah. it will yeah, it's just like a static image in the back. Kind of like that. Yeah. Has everything been doing that? No, I think literally just these honeycombs. Huh. Interesting. Like, that would be by design for sure, because, like, that would be harder to do than to just give it, like, a static image. Yeah. <clears throat> Sticky. Yeah. What? Rub Rubs on your stuff to make it harder to steal. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be easier to steal. <laughs> <laughs> Pine cones make no sense. It's not a good fruit. I would eat pine cones, pine cones if I had chamoy and tahini. Though. Oh my gosh! There are no games on there. It's out of gas. A seat that creates <laughs> bugs. <laughs> Let's see. King Ark says also apples were the best fruit to eat back when I could freely eat them. Apples are pretty good. Just eat an apple. For the sugar. Your sugar. I don't. I, I I would say bananas are probably my favorite fruit out of like standard fruit for sure. Wait, what are we calling standard fruit? Uh, I don't know for you because Mr. Fancy Man eats fruit <laughs> that has flavor. No, that has tahini on it. I would say standard fruits are like apple, banana, orange, grapes, like stuff you think of like kids. Okay. Like, snacking okay, that's on fair. Fruits. Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi. I, I would say kiwi probably counts. I do like. I'd say it's more of like too, an intermediate fruit. Like, I, I, we can include that in this in this uh, fruit discussion. I had a lot of kiwi growing up. Yeah, I like kiwi too. Kiwi's good. Nice I did not texture. eat a lot of kiwi growing up. No, you eat kiwi wrong, E, and we're not going to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> King Ark says King Ark says apples, bananas, and oranges are the basic fruits. Those are pretty basic. Yeah. Sorry, you can get like the more intermediate with like raspberries and blackberries. And... I, I feel like grapes can be included in like the basic fruits myself. Yeah, yeah. grapes are pretty basic. What's like an advanced fruit? <laughs> like a dragon fruit? Yeah, dragon, dragon fruit. fruit. Um, I would say pomegranate because it's like takes experience to know how to eat a yeah. pomegranate. Same with a jackfruit or Does like it, a. Though? Yeah. A durian. You just chew it. No, Not they like the seeds. outside. What? No, you eat the seed. What? You absolutely no, you eat spit the, out the seeds. No, you absolutely eat the seed. What? Crunch it. You are not going to sit here and tell us that you eat the rind of a fucking pomegranate, are you? No, no, I don't. Wait, do you eat the rind of a pomegranate? No. Okay. You like I don't. Eat the little fruity things. Don't they have a seed? Yeah, but that you is eat the seed. It. I thought there was like a little seed in it. So like, I'm just misremembering most likely. So like, it's okay. a pomegranate, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. And you take it apart. Yeah, and then you have the actual fruit part. And you have just like tons of little beads of fruit. Yeah. And you just shove them all in your mouth. I thought those had like a little pit. Sorry, pit is probably yeah, they, a better description. Okay, yeah. They do, but you you just munch them. They're super soft. What? You're supposed to. No, I think I spit them out usually. No, Maybe that's so, so much you, work. That's why I only eat them every now and then. No, man. Okay, you just so, chew that. I still think like, I would still classify as an advanced fruit, honestly, though. Uh, yeah, a kid probably not going to like a pomegranate. But yeah, I would say like pomegranates, dragon fruits, durians. Those are like probably the most advanced of fruits because yeah. you usually yeah. need like a actual machete to open those things up. Stuff then... like, yeah, coconut. Coconut's like the ed most advanced of the fruit. I would yeah. argue a durian's actually more advanced than a coconut is. Most people don't actually eat durians, I'm going to argue back. They don't. That's what reason why, though, is because like it, they're hard to open. They s smell really bad. It takes a whole lot to clean up I after. About, I really wonder if I might like durians more than the average person. Because you can't smell. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder, actually. Um, King Oryx is saying, also, if you don't just bite into a kiwi, you're wrong. Exactly. That's, no. Yeah. You what just, is wrong with your generation? Are, how, are we the same generation? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Maybe. What is... How... That's the generational what? divide. Fuck boomers. Fuck zoomers. <laughs> it's how do you eat a kiwi? That is the generation. If you eat the fle the outer flesh of a kiwi... You are a <laughs> fucking demon. It you gives are... you the texture. It's like, no, you don't want a texture. You don't want fuzzy. I don't want to eat fuzzy. I don't want to feel like I'm chewing on someone's chin. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Let's continue this game. <laughs> Anyways. What about me? <laughs> <laughs> nice voice for the chef. Immediately Italian stereotype. <laughs> Nobody ask about me. Did BK own you with a catapult too? No. Mm hmm. You ruined my restaurant. Your restaurant. Where? He's, yeah, your restaurant stinks. 
Well, yeah, it's grade D. How can you guys be called salt and pepper and not have appreciation for soup? Boo! Calm down, nerds. <laughs> what did BK do to your restaurant? Well, I was dealing with a slight bug problem. I was exhausted from rounding up bugs, so I ordered a donut. Shnanda says, that's not a thing. Stop. <laughs> yeah, where you peel the kiwi? Yeah, it's not a no, thing. No, you peel the kiwi. You don't peel it. You cut it in half. You spoon the flesh out. That's and you so throw much more work. You throw the, the weird fucking you could just hairy like, part away. Chomp. No, it's so gross. <laughs> It's also, I like you saying it's a generation thing. I definitely wasn't alone in my Kiwi escapades at school. <laughs> <laughs> Other people also thought it was weird. Kmark says you use a spoon. Get out. No, you absolutely you use a spoon. You use a spoon because you're not an animal. You're going to be like in survival, like have a nice Kiwi bush next to you. And you're kiwi like, oh, I can't eat it because I don't have a spoon a on kiwi me. A Kiwi bush? Yeah. I don't know how kiwis are made, actually. I think they're- I'm gonna I check. It's I not do. a bush. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it's not a bush. How do kiwis grow? Bye, Chef. Kiwis, also known as kiwis, are a popular type <laughs> of edible berry that grows on vines. Berry? Huh. Kiwis a berry? Yeah, there's a lot of things that are berries, and most things we call berries are not. Strawberry, not a berry? No. Yeah, strawberries I, are not a berry, but bananas are. Yeah, bananas are a berry. Well, what is the I think blueberries are a berry. That's the one berry that we call I berry. I think that's, that's the one berry. thing. It's either blueberries or raspberries. I forget. Like, the definition has to do with the weird seed stuff. Okay, okay. So, King Orcs is saying, fruits are abhorrently hand food. So if you use anything else to eat them, they aren't fruit. Okay, pineapple then. Yeah, just like you, <laughs> you, you, you need just a break tool it to properly eat pineapple. That's why it's the advanced fruit. <laughs> coconut? You can't just munch down on a fucking coconut. You don't eat the coconut really in general. You can. You totally eat the coconut. The flesh of a coconut? The flesh of it? Yeah. You get on the hair? hair? No, you. Break it open on the inside, yeah. and you drink the coconut milk or and the you coconut have to, like, water. You shave it. You're like, no, you don't shave it. You just eat. It's like a, it's like a kiwi. <laughs> you no, oh, you, you spoon you'll the break your teeth if you eat it like you a kiwi. You spoon the inside out. <laughs> King Francis is biting. You're a man. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh man. How's it going over here, Robbie? I think I need to make soup. I believe you are supposed soup, to make soup. salt, pepper. You can't, can't let the bugs get it. Bugs are bad for soup. Bugs are bad for soup. You have to dodge the bugs, Robbie. So imagine you are the soup. You are soup. <laughs> the spoon does not exist. You are the spoon. The spoon is metaphorical. Oh shit, oh shit. I don't, I think that counts. Oh. I think that counts. Yeah. yeah, that counts. Oh, there's so many bugs. Eat those bugs. Would you go to a restaurant to just soup? Yeah. Counts on the soup, actually. Like, no bread, even? No bread, just soup. Well, this soup is brown with pepper and salt. So I don't I don't know if I'd go to this one. Like I I would say like a restaurant that specializes in the soup, I would definitely go to though. Like you go to Olive Garden, are you getting like pasta or are you just soup and salad? Uh soup, salad and pasta. I mean soup, breadsticks and pasta is is the deal yo. I don't I don't I'm not a soup person, you know? Well that's the difference. Salad. Love like salad. you're asking like would you guys go to a restaurant that just serves manure? <laughs> like, that's that's the question you're posing. Yeah. Whereas the question we're answering is, <laughs> would you guys go to a restaurant that serves food? <laughs> uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Great delivery. Level 10. Quadcopter. Woo. Report to Raccoon HQ for training. 
<laughs> Soup has many health benefits if you sit uh, in the pot long <laughs> enough. <laughs> Uh, King Orcs is saying, also, if you play Sea of Thieves, they literally just bite into a coconut. Like psychopaths? <laughs> yeah. I like mean, psychopaths. pirates had to make do. Is that why pirates had no teeth? Yeah. It's like, I'm going to nibble on coconuts. Use this to reach the King food. King Orcs says, also, I thought you were going to say that a restaurant that just serves Menudo and I was going to be mad because, yeah, I would. I would probably go to a Menudo restaurant. Yeah. Also, I would. Menudo's not like a thing that, like, has a lot of ways to prepare it, I would say, though. Yeah, it's sort of just menudo. Like, I feel like a soup restaurant might just serve menudo. Maybe, but menudo takes so long, is the sure. whole thing. Like, it'd have to be, like, a special thing. I also should yeah. say, I only like my grandma's menudo. Yeah, honestly, like, I don't know what she does to it. I don't like menudo at all. It's probably she adds, like, a bucket of lard in butter. Well, no, because hers is, like, way less greasy than anywhere else I've ever seen. Maybe like, she removes the bucket of lard. Yeah, maybe, because, like, Liz will get menudo occasionally on weekends, because that's what people that's when people make it. They, like, make it yeah. through the weekend, serve it on the weekend. And, like, every time she's like, I just got to fucking put a paper towel on top of this, because there's just an entire cup of grease at the top of this I bet menudo. it's the meat. I, I would bet. I bet they probably use a different, a worse quality of meat. Yeah, so they can mass produce, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> God, I make our free food. You don't even have to buy anything. <laughs> Turns food, food into the math. <laughs> Secret soup recipe two: two shakes, or two shakes salt, three shakes pepper. Ooh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> food only garbage can. <laughs> Sometimes it's breakfast, breakfast inside. inside. <laughs> <laughs> She's so great. I haven't read all of these. I read random ones. <laughs> can let a bird cook, but don't let it feed you. <laughs> You're a goose in your Wait, did these guys make goose? Are uh, the goose game? No. No. Okay. Just a similar art style. Okay. This gotcha. was before Goose Game, if I remember right. It was, yeah. Untitled Goose Game, we should say. Some apartments don't allow pets. But you can keep bats if you pretend to be upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Honestly, I'm going to say whenever I go to Olive Garden, I get the salad, but I only get it for the pepperoncinis. I get it for the croutons. Not a crouton person. This goes back to when I had garbage teeth thing. Like I can eat croutons now just fine, but just like I'm turned off by them now. Just like the memory of croutons? Yeah. How are you going to be like that, but like think it's weird when I say I don't like a food because of its texture? It's not even... It's like I have like PTSD about like this is going to destroy my teeth. I got food poisoning from cats. Wait, who did that? That was the guy who that made was the explosives. Did. Yeah. Is this me? Yeah. You kind of have like a higher pitch voice for him. It was explosive, oh. man. I got food poisoning from cat soup. Sure. Sure. <laughs> More than once... Yeah, I used to work there. It's pretty gross. I also changed his voice, so it's whatever. Wow. <laughs> Everything I do seems to have helped everyone. He's got a point, Mira. Maybe BK ain't so bad. Okay, everybody. We all know that cat soup was a hole even before it got hold. <laughs> but let's get back to the real problem here. Yeah. My 100% smashed quadcopter. Yeah. Why did you smash it, Mira? Dude. I didn't want to smash it. I had to. Donut shop. Am I playing as the quadcopter? Oh, man. I'm, I just remembered where like up this, play, this game goes. <laughs> you forgot for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. <clears throat> wow. Oh, yeah. And this. Wow. <laughs> Notice how the propellers spin real fast. That's how it flies. <laughs> 
No kidding. And it only took 12 deliveries for me to get it. Can I see? Sure. Look, she was writing it for half a second. Yeah. Oh. Be careful. Careful? Like this? A little lower? Hmm. How about this? <gasps> Gasp. What are you doing? You're acting psycho! How can you brag about this stupid toy? When you got it by destroying our friends' homes. They ordered the donuts, dude! I give people what they want! This is pointless. BK, what's your password for this thing? Uh, I think it's 0451? Oh, sh try, you need to change your password for your computer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait. Huh! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> Wait, no. I changed it to Bonky Kong. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, do you know what's at the bottom of the holes? I don't know. What are you doing? Teaching you a lesson. Gulp these bricks first. Okay. Bonky, Bonky Kong. Kong. He's the beater of the bunch. <laughs> You bohem bell. You know a YouTube show that I watch every week when a new episode comes out? Oh, and I don't know why, because, like, it never teaches me anything I didn't know. What? What happened? Oh, yeah, I love that show. Yeah, like, it's fun and entertaining, but it's never like, oh, yeah, that's that's crazy. I didn't, didn't realize that. Well, you just look up information on stuff. A yeah. Lot. Yeah, I just, I, 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 I Google a lot of things. Whereas if you're like me, who doesn't do that, it's cool. <laughs> I th the newest episode that I watched today on Donkey Kong, which is why I yeah, DK64. Yeah. Um, the only thing I think is interesting is that he actually like, since he does have a very popular YouTube channel now, he gets to interview people. He got Grand Kirkhope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was fun. That's really it. Uh, anyway, it, it, they just spelled the rumor that the RAM expansion came because of that game. Or was uh, the only reason why that game works, rather. <coughs> yeah. I think I remember hearing about that. It like just... The whole RAM expansion, like games that like you have to have it one, or, ha or have to have it for, and games that you don't necessarily need it for, but it helps, and so on and so forth. I mean, that is a thing. But the rumor was that, like, they came, that Donkey Kong 64 came with the expansion because there was a game-breaking bug that... The expansion right. fixed, but that that was not true. Right. To be fair, that game runs like shit. It runs like garbage, and it does <laughs> still have a huge fucking data leak. There's something crazy I learned actually. There's one specific uh, coin or banana or whatever. You, it is mo more difficult if you do it later in the game. Not like if you're playing a long time. If you just do it later, because there's an upgrade where you get like scopes or whatever on your shooting. Yeah. Uh, it lags the game, <laughs> but the timer doesn't lag. <laughs> oh. So there's one where you have to like shoot a bunch of propellers underwater. Mm. It just would be insanely harder if you did it later in the game. Nice, interesting. It's fucking garbage. I had to it's do it, dude. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Video games. There's no other way to get through to you. You don't know what it's like to lose something you care about. I mean, I guess I get what you mean. You guys love your weird trash houses, and I took them away by doing my job. Mm. Which, I guess, in this context, is an evil job. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Will you help us get everyone out of this hole now? Blah, fine. Where do we start? Lol, I was hoping you'd know. I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that I know stuff. Me, whenever Dry <laughs> talks to me. <laughs> but I know basically nothing. You've 
forgot how to find Pup. If you guys can find Pup, we can use this hot air balloon to get back to the surface. Oh yeah, Pup. BK, can you look up Pup on your tablet? Of course. Tablet. Please locate GPS data for a hot air balloon containing a Pup. Mm. Hmm? I'm kidding. This thing doesn't have voice commands. You know who might be able to find Pup? Possum. No, 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 no. Possum is too weird. He's weird, but you have to admit, Possum was right. The earth is hollow. If you know where he lives, I can get him. Yeah. Just deliver a donut to the abandoned house. Lol, of course Possum squats in an abandoned house. I always thought it was haunted. This is worse. <laughs> possum. Awesome possum. I want Olive Garden. <laughs> can we get just the breadsticks delivered to us real quick? You totally just could. Unlimited actually. amount of breadsticks delivered. You can just order every eight. hour. We just ask for more. <laughs> you can order a dozen breadsticks. <laughs> That's not a lot. That's a lot of bread, man. I can smash a dozen breadsticks. I'm pretty sure. I've seen you do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a lot. <laughs> Well, that made things worse. Worse? Or better? Invader Zim. There you go. Yeah. Maybe I should watch Invader Zim again. Good I don't show. think you're going to like it. It's, oh. It's going to be yelling a lot. Mm. <laughs> you said you, you watched the, the movie. Uh, I watched part of the movie. Yeah. Because I got annoyed at it. Yeah. that was That's what Invader Zim was like. <laughs> that's, just, that's just what it was like. Right? Oh. I like the Invader Zim's funny. I have like a love hate relationship with Invader Zim. You love to hate it? No, just a literally love hate relationship. You love it and hate it? Yeah. Why? Uh, cause I like a lot of the stuff it does, but it also just grosses me out too much. Grosses you out? Yeah. How? What way? What do you mean? It's a gross show. What do you mean? It's gross out humor all the time. Is it? Do you not remember Invader Zim at all, Jiraiya? I mean, I remember there always being a bunch of fat people yelling. Yeah, and they're always extremely greasy. Yeah, there's a lot of greasy people. Could just been a reflection And there's like the episodes TV, where they <laughs> There's episodes where they like steal organs and shit. You don't do that? Not preferably. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is kind of gross. Yeah. I really like the time travel episode, and I think that episode alone kickstarted my interest in time travel stuff. <laughs> What's the time travel episode? Uh, Zim's just trying to kill Dib with a giant robot. Okay, so every other episode? Yeah, but he, he's got to th <laughs> throw it back in time. He found like a pivotal moment in, in Dib's timeline, uh, except he can't because the robot doesn't go through the time portal, so he gets angry and throws a pig through it. And, like, it just replaces a random thing with the pig. Okay. I think I remember this episode, yeah. kind of. So, like, it just progresses of him continuously making Div worse and worse and, like, <laughs> crippling him. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. This is a good episode. I think you're not supposed to do that. Counterpoint, apparently not. it's funny. Counterpoint, it's funny? Yeah. To do the thing? Yeah. There we goes, go. Ah. I was going to say, <laughs> counterpoint, I can't get are these boxes yet. <laughs> Boxer. No one said boxer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> boxer. I hardly knew her. Nobody said it, Robbie. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's just cat. a cat. Cat. Raccoon. Nom. Something against raccoon. Hates raccoon. Can we just like make one of those and stick it in the background of a stream one day? Just like a fucking insane yeah. thread of. 
showing how all of our podcast episodes connect. Yeah. And just like in the center is Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I've thought about moving around our, our stream stuff. I was right. Uh huh. Hollow Earth, Occam's Razor. <laughs> yep. How many hours do we have to listen to this? Five. So possum. Do you know how to locate pup? Pup, pup. I think I heard the cops looking for a dog in a hot air balloon. Where is he? I might be able to find out if he had a raccoon police scanner. Or if I had a raccoon police scanner. Oh my god. BK, where can we get a raccoon police scanner? Police chief probably has one. But he's at Raccoon Lagoon today. It's his day off. Let's wreck it. Mira, are you serious? Raccoon Lagoon is the happiest raccoon place on Raccoon Earth. It's got great tunes and water balloons and... Mm -hmm. Raccoon Lagoon is home of the fun flume that's fun for raccoons. You have no choice, BK. The flume is doomed. Fine. But you have to answer to the police chief when he's down here. But you. I feel like they should have done that longer. Why? The raccoon rhyming thing. I don't know. I just oh. feel like it could have gotten real ridiculous. Could have gotten old really fast, too, though. Exactly. That's what you want. You make it real old, then you do it again. Rule of that's funny. 70s. If you hit it 70 times, it becomes funny again. He's going to hate this. But this dialogue has really made me want to watch Roulette or Kenny again. Why would I hate this? I don't, I don't have an issue with you watching that show. I'm going to make you watch it now. That I would have an issue <laughs> with. That's going to be our ongoing series next year. I show you all of Roulette I would Kenny. do it, and you would be very frustrated with how much I'm probably not going to like it. I don't know. Maybe you'd love it, though. I'd probably think it's okay. I don't know. Maybe you just showed me a very bad episode to start off someone with. I don't even know what episode you watched, honestly. What were they doing in it? It was like the guy hold himself, hold himself up in like a cabin to watch a terrible sitcom. Oh, actually, I do think that's a pretty bad episode. There you go. That, that's all I really remember. Yeah, I mean that's all. And that they play hockey. Really, yeah, I mean lots every episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's Canada, so. They, hmm. He made a uh, spin-off of one of the characters that is also very it's good. called yeah. Better Kenny. No, it's just off of like one of the characters and he moves towns. I can't remember the name of it. It's literally named of the character. I can't think of oh, the name. Oh, is it uh, Frasier? No, no, what? <laughs> 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 Although, Frasier is getting a revival. What? Weird. Yeah. Like, none of the people from Frasier are going to be in it. Not even Frasier. Actually... Not even Frasier. Amazing. It's I don't understand what they're doing. They want to make money. Well, yeah. Did Frasier even do good? Frasier did great. Oh. Frasier lasted longer than Cheers, I think. And it, Frasier was a spinoff of Cheers. Well, there you go. He you answered your question of why they did it. Mm, yeah. Also, King Ark said Shorzy? Shorzy, yes. Yes, that is the name of it. Shorzy. That's all hockey all the time in that one. It's like even more hockey. I don't dislike hockey. I nothing hockey. It's funny when a fight breaks out. I've never seen a fight break out in any like hockey game that I've been accidentally watching. How long do you watch? Not long enough. Yeah, I, th I think that's more of the issue. So, ha water, Robbie. Think water. What makes water do things? What if water was hitting that? How many waters does it take to open a light bulb? You did it. I'll do it 20 times. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm like an NPC in God of War. I gave, you, I gave you 30 hits. seconds to solve the puzzle, Robbie. <laughs> Too little. Robbie almost had it. He was throwing the fish. 
He was there. He was basically there. I just, I just nudged him a little further. Too bad. Illegal. Maybe. Need more balloons. Or. Or? Fish. More fish? More fish. A million fish. You can always use more fish. Every fish. Nobody's ever said I have too many fish. I, well, Jesus might have. I think that's really what happens. He had too many fish, and he was like, What do I do with all these fish? Then, bam, Chris Fiction. I also think that Jesus was actually Seinfeld. What's the deal with airplane fish? That is what I think they say in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, it's verbatim. You know, Robbie, that's not how you're supposed to solve it's that. It's not, but he but did it. But you sure did. Yeah, he did it. And man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I mean, whatever works, right? Yeah. Whee. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Keeping everything. <laughs> you're still whole. Nah, he's got it. No. Yes. There's more raccoons. Raccoon Lagoon. Good. Would you go to the theme park with two rides? Would there be a bunch of raccoons? I don't know if that's a selling point or not, actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> you have two more seconds to answer this question. One, two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> <laughs> what if they had, like, a bunch of food, though? I mean, you're just, like, adding a different equation. Any theme park, as long as it has a ton of terrible, terrible food for you, I want to go. Except for Disney. Disney's food doesn't seem fair enough. Like, it seems like they're trying to make it classy. You can eat a turkey leg. I do like turkey legs. But, you know, it costs oh, 75 Jesus. bucks. Right, and also, like, a few thousand to, like, actually, like, get in yeah. and, like, go to, like, four rides. And if you want the fast pass, which you is a requirement. Which, actually, yeah, it is a requirement if you want to get on any rides. They the fast pass. It's just genie app or whatever. You literally have to pay now. Yeah. It's not even. Yeah, it's so dumb. Yeah, but then how are they going to make money? You know, Disney's such a, like, a starving artist. <laughs> they really are. Who's going who's gonna to pay for Disney? That's what the government says every time an election comes out. <laughs> but who's going to pay for Disney? Uh, did you see that the... Uh, Microsoft Activision deal is actually getting quite a bit of guff. Is it? Yeah. Good. From like a bunch of different countries, actually. Good. Including the U.S. Good. That's a surprise. Yeah. Uh-oh. I mean, it gets surprised, but a surprise nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. Is he alive? Grab me the scanner. Guys... I could get in trouble for this. Trash King will take away my tablet if he finds out. Oh, no. Are you going to get grounded, too? Will he drop you and all your friends into a weird cave? Okay, okay. I get it. Possum, got anything on the scanner? One sec. Yes, got it. Hmm, that's not it. Eck! Turn off! There's gotta be some news about Pup. That must be my pup. Got it. He's on the 405. Yes. You better hurry, BK. The cops are after him. And that's never good. The cops are after me! That's sometimes good. Calm <laughs> down. It's okay, dude. I'll visit you in jail. What? I know. I'm a really good friend. But first, we have to deliver. Oh, we have a delivery to make. I like the raccoon. Would you visit Robbie in jail? Mm, what kind of jail is it? 
The one here. How far is it? The one here. Which one? The closest one. I don't know where that is. Well, then yeah. why'd you ask which one? <laughs> <laughs> Jail or prison? Uh, he he didn't pay a speeding ticket. It was thrown in there. So probably jail then. Yeah, I'd go see him. All right. <laughs> good good discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was. Where if he wound from. up in the prison that was here, man, he did some fucked up shit. Yeah, that would be like eating drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that. You know, that, that's where they put like all the people. Like That's where you get like the mass murderers, the mass shooters. People who smoked marijuana, all all the big ones. <laughs> Actually, yes, you get all of those are at the prison near us. It's quite depressing. Most prisons are. Oh, well, that's, that's good that it's not new then. Yeah. Get those raccoons. No, all the CRTs. <laughs> this is a nightmare. We should go. We should go and try and see Pinocchio before it leaves theaters. I agree. I feel like that's just gonna be better in theaters than on Netflix. I I just want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> all the donuts. Mm. You are in Donut County. Man, I really want a donut now. <laughs> <laughs> this game has a side effect. I really did forget how weird this game gets. I love it. I'm going down. And a Lulu out. I will. You know what I love, E? What? We were talking about um, Weekend at Bernie's this weekend. Yeah. Cause I've and never you were like, it. it only has like a 56. What? Yeah. I'm like, you were very shocked about it, which I find funny. I don't know. It's kind of revered. It's a well-known movie. I've never heard anyone dislike it. Not you like, probably do. It's but. not like a good movie, but it's a movie. It's the movie that did Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> I have a rough idea what Weekends of, at Bernie's is that. I've actually never watched that movie. I don't Neither know if you have to. You really don't, honestly. I, you, I think everything's just done Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's a, a dead guy, and then they have to convince everyone he's not dead. Yeah, Comedy. it sounds like the movie that I watched, or that I heard of. Yeah. But it doesn't get more complicated than that, quite honestly. <laughs> the Ultra Raccoon. It's like Star Wars. He's going down. He's nope. It's going down. I actually forgot the solution here. Okay, good. <laughs> if you eat enough pictures, <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Yeah, I, I totally forgot the solution here. Just have to do it over and over again, I take it? Something. I think you're technically not... Like, I think he's technically hitting the ground is the issue. Because of the grappling hook physics. I think it's just the grappling hook physics are going crazy. It's quite possible. He's like... He, like, knocks him and he doesn't go down. Can you not move through the cars? No, because it stops right there. Gotcha, gotcha. Except I'm thinking, like, maybe I need to get bigger, but I think I'm at capacity of how big I can get. Try just timing exactly at the, the fall. It sure is being weird. I'm trying to remember the solution too. Hmm. There it oh. is. There we go. It's got to hit him again. Gulp. Oh yeah. 
satisfying. This great. Do you think this would happen in real life? Do you think people would just drive into a hole? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, they would. In the city that's nearest, there was a 100 car pileup. People that just kept driving into each other. Sadly enough, does not surprise me. Yeah, actually, no. What about the. If there's like a record for most car pile up. It's probably not documented because that would be a terrible thing to document because oh, it would be very funny. dangerous. But. To be fair, there's been a lot of terrible things documented in human history. Not like document. I mean, like, like it, I don't think it would be in like the Guinness book. World record for car pile up. Biggest, not movie. <laughs> Everybody knows that belongs to the Blues Brothers. November 3rd, 2002. The largest multi-car accident in U.S. history occurred on this day, around 25 miles south of Los Angeles, California, on Interstate 10. Despite it involving an astounding 216 vehicles, mm, damn. there were no deaths reported. Good. However, 41 people were injured. Not good. Man, just 260 people just fucking kept going, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I'm late for work. Pop. You're safe. Rough. <laughs> no one really got you. Okay, pup, get out. I need this hot air balloon. I'm going up to save us. No way, dude. You can't go alone. I'll just run away. I'm coming with you. No, I'm coming too. In case we need to hack into the mainframe. No. <laughs> yeah, don't. Just stay here. Are you guys leaving with no plane? Uh. We're going to talk to the leader of the raccoons. Trash King. We're going to do a boss fight and kick his butt. Dude, you always screw up the boss fight. You gotta follow my lead this time. Maybe just try talking to him first. We'll try. Good luck, then. Thanks, Coco. Coco. I'm going to use the bathroom. You guys have fun while I'm gone. Okay, we'll keep having fun. Man, I really did forget this whole ending in the game. I remember the ending. I forgot that solution part technically. Yeah. Big game here. Wow. Eerie. It doesn't feel that different up here. It's like we got replaced by raccoons. Mm, what? I already said I'm sorry. You don't have to rub it in. You think this is all my fault? I feel bad, but I can't undo what I did. PK, here's a tip. You're feeling guilty. Don't blame. Uh, I don't blame you for everything the raccoons do. Still want to be friends? I do. But if you want to be friends with me, don't make your guilt prob our guilt my problem. Oh yeah, and wash my car. <laughs> also, give my dog a bath. Deal. There it is! Raccoon HQ! It's that thing on the old observatory hill. Wow, kind of looks like a big garbage can. I know. <laughs> cool, right? I guess. It makes sense. Trash King lives there. Well, let's go for it. Wow, it smells awful. Do you guys use like reverse air fresheners? Home sweet home. Lol. Okay, you should call Trash King now. Try to convince him to help us fix everything. Are you kidding? I can't call him. It would be extremely awkward. Text him then. Fine. <laughs> Did 
Just the immediately on his back thing. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> hey. Duck, 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 duck. TK? Duck, 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 duck. duck. Hello? Who is this? Sorry, new phone. <laughs> new phone. It is duck. Duck, 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 duck. It's BK. Duck, 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 duck. I work for you. Duck, 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 duck. duck. I was wondering, like, duck, 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 duck. It's like an ellipse. Is it possible ducks. to duck, 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 duck? Undo some of the holes. Question, duck. duck? <laughs> and give people the trash back? Duck, 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 duck. Okay, never mind. Duck. No problem. What is he saying? It didn't work, dude. I think he's mad at me. Dang. Whoops. You know what would be fun? Opening a hole and wrecking this place? LOL. Yep. Let's do it. King Orc says the answer <laughs> is duck. Answer's always duck. Okay. One hole coming up. Is... Is he just breaking the wall? Yeah, what do you do? It's you a window. Work. You act like this is like not a normal work day. <laughs> now I, too, will be right back. Okay. E, well, I figure out what you have e. to be BK if there's dialogue. Bonky, go. I'm going to do the DK voice, though. <laughs> I'm not sure what to eat first here. So that's the only thing that's moving, but like I can't absorb it. Did it. There we go. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Well, we tried. Open. Nothing else we can do. That can help. Possum, we told you to stay with everyone. Or, or with everyone. You did, but I read between the lines. I can help you hack into HQ's security system. You can sneak a hole inside that way. Okay. <laughs> and just plug into the security system. Whoa, sweet. We can use the catapult. Okay. Here goes nothing, then. Chomp. Possum hack protocol. And now it's hit I'm in. again. Use the hole, eat other holes, or not. Yup. Take his toilet paper first, then his coffee.
don't know what to do here. We'll figure it out. There's not a whole lot of things you can do. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I didn't realize they're just gonna let me slide under like that. Okay. Yeah, those doors are a little open. But just a little bit. Yeah, it's like when you like leave a crack open in your door, however that phrase would actually go. Your door open a crack. There you go. It's like when you crack down your door, you know. Like in The Shining. That's you at work, Robbie. I mean, on a good day, it is. <laughs> have you ever actually, like, slept at work, like, during a break or anything? Uh, there have been times, like, whenever I was working, like, actual third shift that I got, would be, like, really tired because I had to do things beforehand. And, uh, on my, usually on my breaks, on my lunch break, I'd go into my car and I would just, like, set a timer and just nod off for a little bit. And then when the timer went back off, I would wake back up and get back to work. Yeah. I have a friend who actually does that at her job. Just sleeps? Yeah, just during their, uh, 30... We'll just go to the car and sleep every day. Yeah, I've done that before. I definitely don't do it every day, though. I also think they might be uh, just have, like, sleep apnea or something like that. But, you know. Some kind of sleeping disorder? Yeah. Biology lab, new recruits. Donut County was home to many rude, screaming beasts. Nobody knows why. The animals ju are were just outside. It's our job to figure out their pur our purpose of these nude creatures. Watch as our top raccoon extract the facts. Mm -hmm. Snake. Killed him! <laughs> Apparently. Just gotta shimmy it a little bit. There you go. <laughs> I hate the noise this makes. <laughs> The duck. Duck. Key hall. Free frog. Would you take a free frog if you were offered one? I mean, as long as I could take care of it. Did you have any pets growing up, Robbie? Uh, we always just had cats growing up, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we like had a you dog. Had cats, or like there were cats that went to your like yards. No, we had cats. Uh, we did have a dog at one point in time, but we had a husky. Mm -hmm. So like, taking care of a husky is kind of a hard thing to do. Yeah, they're big dogs. Yeah, especially when you're not living in like a very small or not a very big place. So. 
Boo. There we go. Now it's letting me grab that for some reason. Sometimes it does want like a weird specific area. Here we go. Oh yeah, all the rabbit breeding inside the hole. That's how rabbits Don't panic. Eat. It's just a rough hole. A rogue hole. <laughs> it's just a rough hole. This is literally very normal. I turned on the emergency lights because it's fun. Please finish f filling out your waivers in the next five minutes. Or five seconds. The bunnies are exploding! Yeah, that's kind of what they do sometimes. I hear rabbits are actually really hard to take care of. I don't know if they're hard to take care of as much as they're just kind of like a delicate thing to take care of. Yeah, I guess that might be true. Just like they require a lot of attention and stuff. Right. Uh, uh, one of the biggest advocates that I've heard of at getting rabbits, though, is like people who want to try to feed their uh, animals a vegan diet. And like a guy that was uh, like showing the vegan diet he feeds his uh, his pets uh, went on to like actually just like feed it to rabbits. So like if you want to uh, give your animal a vegan diet or uh, make sure you just buy vegan pets because I feel like that whole wave of people who are like buying cats and dogs and trying to get them to eat a, uh, a vegan diet of some kind. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anthropology. Before raccoons and people of Donut County produced a wide variety of trash. We believe the uh, each piece of trash had a special significance. Our scientists study this trash round the clock so that we we can learn to create our own someday. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> so there's hoboing right there. From the but looks for of it. science. Difference between screwing around and doing science things is whether you write it down or not. Whomever is driving this hole, please go away. Oh, you heard him, Robbie. I don't think you can expel the hole. Apparently not. No. There we go. So apparently this is just an infinite... Okay, there we go. Infinite hole. Yeah, I was going to say an infinite puddle. Unless a bird drinks it.
pow, pow. Get good. <laughs> I can't believe you're not good at this game, Robbie. This is baby game. There we go. Uh, well, that concludes the tour. Attention, hole driver. Meet me in my office. Thank you. <laughs> he's, turning, he's from Boston now. Now he's just from Boston all of a sudden. Has a smoke accent and he's from Boston. It's all the smoke from the fire. Probably nothing in here that I can do. Looks like no. Okay. Trash King. <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> what do you mean? It's donuts. Don't you like donuts, Robbie? Yeah, but free donuts are suspicious donuts. Oh, let me absorb anything else. Oh no, trapped. <laughs> King Ark says the donut's a lie. BK, please report to my office right now. I am opening up direct ac access for you alone, BK. We have urgent business to. Or, yeah, we have urgent business. Whoa, he said my name. Are you sure you can handle him alone? He seems like he stinks. Yeah, he definitely stinks, but I can handle him. I thought about what you said earlier. This is my mess to clean up. It is, but you can always call me for backup. I appreciate it. Wish me luck. You don't need it. You're gonna kick butt. Lol. Thanks, dude. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Just slide down the pole. <laughs> you want a pickle? No, I'm here to get you to reverse the holes. Bring everyone back. Did you know that you're the, are the highest rated hole driver in Donut County? You're famous, BK. Oh, really? Picture this, dude. Full-time employee status. Company stock. The company will take care of everything for you. They'll even wipe your butt. I hate wiping my butt. If you join me, you'll get to play with the real big boys toys. The weird plane thingy? The king quadcopter. Qua. Qua. <laughs> it has cement cannons for tough construction jobs. It is a pickup truck of quadcopters. Omg. <laughs> Omg. Omg. I have one more thing to show you. 
Follow me. Hey, uh, possum? <laughs> Do you have a bazooka? Or something that could blow up a bunch of quadcopters? Nah, but I can check the dock web if we are when we get back. Never mind. Maybe they're just here for fun? <coughs> Hurry up, BK. That's where the holes come from? Sick. BK, those nerds in the hot air balloons are holding you back. You gotta learn to put yourself first. You gotta reach in and take the pickle. Well, if my hand gets stuck like yours. Ha! It's not stuck. I can take it out whenever. It's meant to inspire you. Sign this. Wow. Branch manager. And I get health insurance. Yep. And it's a course, a, and of course, a brand new quadcopter. Huh. All right. Hand me the pen. Uh-oh. That sound. <laughs> it's the King Cod Qu Quadcopter. The King Cod Qu Quadcopter. The Quadcopter. <laughs> <laughs> we need to surrender, Ma Maria. I think it easily pop our balloon. Not if we blow it up first. Eh? Huh? I told you, I don't have a bazooka. And Trash King has my hacking device. We're gonna use a hole. Trust me, it's designed to destroy stuff. Queen Cop Clock. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> Here you go, Ravi. It's a boss fight. Well, uh oh, there goes a third of your health. How the hell am I supposed to... Okay. There you go. Ha, I took a third of his health this time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Run, Robbie, run! Ah! I did it! You can't have the big ones, Robbie. Ooh! One more hit! I just gotta not get filled up with cement. You're lucky. <laughs> I did get lucky with that one. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, go in. There we go. Oh. Yeah. I, I was sure to tell you, you could just do that anytime, really. <laughs> yeah, I know. It just seemed more dramatic to do it at the end. You did it. Hooray. Bowser is no more. We destroyed it. All without BK's help. I can't believe he abandoned us. He sold us out. I'm not surprised. BK is a true capitalist. The worst thing. Speaking of which, today's episode is sponsored <laughs> by <laughs> Capitalist VPN. Well, I'm gonna kick his butt. I'll fix his quad quadcopter and smash it again. <laughs> 
What was that? Or what was that? Try to move a little toward this way. Toward you? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> it's back! And it has a bazooka! Not fair! Don't blow us up! Ha 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 ha! You thought you could use my holes against me. I'm the trash king. I rule. I, I design dodge. this app. <laughs> Sorry to push your blue, but your friend BK took the pickle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Later nerds, have fun. Sorry I'm late! I didn't take the pickle! BK! He's got the hacking device! We can hack into the God Quap to. God, <laughs> God why, why is it so hard for me to say? <laughs> we the can hack into the quadcopter. The same thing, but it has four fish on it. <laughs> Something like that. And take it apart. BK, hold still! I'm going to catapult you right into the God Quapter. God damn it, God Quad Copter. <laughs> Qua, the cock qua, qua, qua. <laughs> Dodge a bazooka. Okay. Wait, don't let me go blow up. Oh no. Oh no. Bad technique. Bad technique. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Possum. This is like Nail Overwatch. It. This is like Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, when when, when Moira <laughs> hacks the the opponent. I'm gonna have sure. to assume that that's something that actually happens in the game. <laughs> I, also, I think that happens in Overwatch. I don't know. Nerf Bastion. They they unnerfed him. Actually, they put him back in the game. <laughs> they had to take another character out though. I actually did hear about that. Yeah. It was fucking weird. It's stupid. <laughs> It's like they released they a game before it was physics? ready to be released. No, Blizzard wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> Come on. They're there a respectable, upright company. You can tell this by looking up Blizzard CEO on Google. <laughs> That's going to tell you just how great they are. Break, damn you. Envision being a tornado, Robbie. You are the tornado. I Remember your tornado. training. Raccoon. You guys ruined everything. Uh. I guess raccoons just can't cut it in Donut County. More like you can't cut it, dude. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your company stinks. Ooh. You ruined the neighborhood. Ooh. <laughs> BK, it's not about the company. Ooh. <laughs> Think about all the innocent raccoons that moved here. Um, give me a break. The truth is, we're running out of trash. <laughs> we first came to Donut County because the trash was plentiful. Now we have to keep opening up more holes to get less and less trash. I was looking out for us, dude. No, you weren't. <laughs> you were just looking out for yourself. Gasp. You didn't run out of trash. You ran out of people to steal from. What am I supposed to do? I have nothing now. Bring everyone back. 
Yeah, all our stuff too. Uh. Huh. It's so much work though. I have to build a huge catapult. If you do it, we'll tell you how to get your hands off the or your hand out of the pickle <laughs> jar. Really? Nope. <laughs> Lol. Who put their hand in the pickle jar? Johnny put his hand in the pickle jar. He couldn't get his hand out the pickle jar. He died. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually irrelevant to everything else. <laughs> Weirdly enough, Johnny never learned how to eat with his other hand. <laughs> I think it's ready. Okay, everyone. One at a time. Let's get moving. Thanks, Mira. And BK, stay out of trouble. Rough. Uh, before I go, I have one request. Could you please not catapult any snakes back up there? I'll see what I can do. Nope, see ya! It's been wild, y'all. Sorry again, guys. It's okay. We forgive you, Myra. Yeah, not enough, though, BK. Ah, yeah, you stink. <laughs> okay, bye, whatever. Hey, Coyote, I was thinking. <laughs> Would you like a job at our donut shop? We're going to clean. We're going clean. I promise. <laughs> We're going to clean. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I suppose I'd like that. <laughs> but I get to beat your boss. Well, weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Only time. can say if things will ever get back to normal. Yeah, things probably won't feel normal for a while. No matter. We can sail. Let the bunnies flow. Right. Well, sorry for the mess. It's okay. Take care, Mira. Whee! Mira! BK! Nice job blowing up that quadcopter! Lol! I just noticed his leg's <laughs> broken. Thanks. You know, I was thinking. I sure hope you don't mention anything to the cops about my explosives business. They would probably be pretty shocked to hear who destroyed the 405. And all the other stuff you guys blew up, you know? Just saying, as a friend. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for threatening us. Later. I got a joke for you guys. Did you ever hear the one about the raccoon kissing the chicken? Uh, nope. How does it go? Dude, I'm not gonna kiss your dirty chicken. Bah. Well, it's been real. It, yeah, I, I can't remember what uh, voice I did for Bearclaw. Uh, beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, r real waste of time. Ha 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 Thanks for introducing me to this frog, though. It's a cool frog. Pretty dope frog. Cool frog. Pretty cool. Like, I guess it all worked out? You can launch me now. Yeah, okay. Whee! Hey, guys. Stop by cat soup sometime, will ya? Sure. Are you gonna get rid of those bugs? Hey, I don't know. I feel like the kind of a secret green now. Gross. 
<laughs> Sweet. You should throw some apple cores and a fishbone in there. Make a garbage stew. Whoa, good idea! Ew, no. Ew. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Sorry I doubted you, possum. No sweat, Mira. You should all right, you shouldn't trust what anyone tells you. Especially BK. Don't worry, I'll never trust him again. What? After all this? Um, OMG, I'm kidding. See, you can't trust anyone on this flat, hollow earth. <laughs> God damn it. No, OMG, whatever. You know, it's gonna take a long time for me to forget what you are, forget, or forgive you guys. Ah. You messed up, like every possible thing. I'm sorry, Coco. Mm. BK? I'm sorry too, Coco. You still want to go to the beach next weekend? Ha! Yeah, let's do it. Whee! Hey, Mira. Thanks for being so cool to me. And? For showing me how to be good? And for your patience. And OMG, okay, that's enough praise. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe someday you'll make it up to me. After you do my laundry for a hundred years. Praise me now. Well, okay. After spending so much time with you, I decided. You stink only 75% as much as the Trash King. You still need a bath, though. You love my stink. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Would you do me the honor of press pressing the launch button? Gladly. Too slow! Ha 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 ha! My arm! arm. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. You did it. Created by oh, Ben Esposito. <coughs> we finally get to use the Esposito. quadcopter. Mm. Story by Geneva, Geneva Hodgson. Hodgson. By the Geneva Convention. Whoever that is. Oh, that's Coco. <laughs> you know all the achievements. Oh yeah. I don't probably not, but I can try. No. We're just too late, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. the ones make the secret soup recipe. Oh, and then yeah, there's one that's like suck up all the pots and not breaking them. There's another that's like suck the trash king's dick. <laughs> that's a secret achievement. Where you gotta suck on his pickle? Yeah. Yeah. Danko Sirosiro. Lily Nishida. They can really work for these credits. There's not a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> now, if this was uh, Last of Us, this would be like seven hours to fly through them all. Yeah, this would be like a whole two hour chapter. Oh, yeah. Have a pen. Have a pen. Call Raccoon Rooter. <laughs> like it's not a good idea to just have an unbanned uh, air balloon. Hot air balloon. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen it. Maybe it's a great idea. It's true. I can't deny. Yuli Vigdorschik. It's the it, it's the capybara ant eaters, <laughs> llama. 
funny. Something. More of a more of a working construction, I guess. It's an epidemic. It's an orange. Hey, cat soup, making donuts. Hey, they fired me. Making donuts over here. Aw, oh, still bugs though. That's just, just swimming. <laughs> Good animation. Great animation. Now this guy petting his chicken some more. Never Creep. stops. You think it's an addiction, but I guess this CDC decided that it doesn't qualify as an addiction. <laughs> All right. I think you found them all. I think so. I don't know where was VK. I don't know. Oh. Can't. There's no the way. Yeah, the possum. possum. <laughs> Just on all of the little possum computers. The trash king. That's Cruz. Let's rock. Highway to the oh, danger zone. zone. Oh, yeah, I guess he's the one that's doing the copter controls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Robbie. Hey, the x what you did. That's Donut County. That was a neat little indie game. Yeah, what'd yeah. you think? It's not bad. Yeah? If you had to uh, say some words and rate it, what would you do that? How would you do that? Uh, I'd say it's... Not as good as Katamari Damacy, but sure. not really the Made same. Made with significantly either. less yeah. money. Yeah. <coughs> Fair. But um, I don't know. There's also less like absorbing things into a hole. Like I almost expected to absorb the entire city at one point in time. Yeah, that is my one big complaint. Is that that's also my big complaint with Katamari though. Is I would just like freedom to absorb a whole thing. Yeah. Just, like, Wait, what pray. do you mean with Katamari? You like steal every island? Yeah, eventually. It's like the end of the game, but that's kind of what I want this to be. I want this to be that. I, just, I mean, I don't think the game is worse for not having it. It's just like my dumb lizard brain wants it. But yeah, but yeah that's my major complaint is that there needs to be more. <laughs> Which, <laughs> every, I, every said this. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, if your biggest complaint is that you want more of it, then I, it's a pretty good product. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Uh, all in all, I, I'd still say like... 7 out of 10. It's an entertaining little game to play for a couple hours. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it a lot. I'd, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 as well. Yeah. I'll say this one, I think, hits better on your second time around, personally. Why is that? I don't Because my second time I liked it a lot more. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just did play it twice, and I liked it much more the second time. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, but no, I, I think 7 out of 10 is pretty good. 7 or 8, depending on the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's incredibly charming. It's super charming, and that's kind of all it needs to be. I don't I don't think this could go much longer without starting to like feel repetitive. Yeah, yeah. I think actually even for the length that it is, it kind of treads thin at the end. Yeah, but um, there's a lot of like the Trashopedia is fun. Yeah, I didn't. I never looked at that my when I played. Why, it, why so. don't we just take another scroll through some of them, Robbie? All right. Some apartments go way back, yeah. oh. all the way. Wow! Wow! You pick I, up a I lot think of things. It loops. Oh yeah. Oh, does it loop? Uh, no. 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 Oh my god. That is absolutely. They wrote that much stuff for it, huh? Every single one has a description. You think <laughs> it has loot inside because it says barrel, but it's full of spiders. It's free house. <laughs> Don't let it get wet. <laughs> Go in here if you want to get yelled at by coyotes. I will say, I love when, like, games have stuff like this where it's, like, in the... as written by the character. Yeah. yeah. I think it makes it a lot more interesting. Protect, Protect you, you from, from cows? cows? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That was good, though. That is uh, pretty good. Make your own bones at home. <laughs> it's true. It's like kissing a dog, but not as fun. Also true. It's a rock. Don't try to eat it. Tone it rock. Also true. <laughs> it's a normal <laughs> stove. You feel with mud. 
modern pup used to live here. Sometimes you find good ideas inside. How many birds are are you willing to fight for a bag of chips? <laughs> fair? Yeah. Easy. Yeah, also fair. <laughs> Easy to knock over. Check the bottom for bugs. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pot. <laughs> Usually a good sign that there's trash nearby. Spins mud around for fun. Another pot. Wow. <laughs> A hiding wall. Good for peeking. Someone bought this sign in case you were thinking of buying it yourself. <laughs> this tube lets you spy. It, R. it doesn't you help see you spies. catch them, though. Makes you cry when you stick your head in. <laughs> <laughs> Climb inside for free ride. <laughs> It's one thing to own a chicken, but two chickens? That's two things. <laughs> it's, <dumb. laughs> it's a dad joke. <laughs> Large uh, mug for dirt lovers. They're always on the wrong side of it. The wire R allows you to grab eggs and pet the chickens. Gloves for your car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to actually explain tires to somebody. Like, what exactly are tires? Gloves for your car? <laughs> I guess? Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, we, we, can, we, we can't yeah. look at all of them. That's we could fair do this because for hours. there's yeah, yeah there's... what's the last one? Man, you really could do this for like two hours, probably. Oh yeah, it's like like I said, it's like playing some of the older Smash Bros. where you could just you could just spend hours reading all the descriptions and stuff. My lord, thanks for playing. Oh, thanks for making hey! <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Wait, we didn't even read them all. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks for the trophies, Robbie. <laughs> Boss was <to> go well. <laughs> Revenger. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's Dota County. Uh, a nice little fun one. Is just we've been playing so many long games. Sometimes it's nice to just play a random one. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, you guys play all the long ones, and they give me the short ones, so you guys can get back to the long ones. No, Undertale, I think, was our longest series so far. No, Half Life, actually. Yeah, Maybe? I was gonna say, I think I Half Life know. was longer. Last of Us was the eight. hours. I think that I don't yeah. know. Last of Us was eight episodes that were three hours each, roughly. I think Half Life was ten, but they might have been only two hours each. Yeah. I don't know. I don't We'd have know. to do the maths. Yeah. And I'm not gonna. Yeah. We're, Undertale we're had like really a six-hour episode. So yeah, it you know. did. That's true. Anyway, yeah. um, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back Wednesday with E will be on a thing. Yeah, it won't it won't be bloodstained. It won't be the normal bloodstain. <laughs> I don't have it. It'll no, be something else. It was that's a fun story. We'll have to tell. I told it last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Um, it should be carry on. My wayward son. No. Carry on my no, we're gonna way. get struck. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully I got that going next week. Yeah, I'll be playing something. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And then with it being uh, December soon, we're gonna start doing a bunch of our weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, we have all of our end of the year stuff planned for the podcast that we are going to be uh, hammering in the details later tonight by ourselves off stream. Um. And then we're going to have, like, a bunch of weird streams, probably. So look forward to those. We're we'll just gonna do have... one more where you just make pottery. Yeah, man, you have a pottery sure. wheel. I'll try and make a pot. <laughs> I'll make an ashtray right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so look forward to all of that kind of stuff. We'll be back next week. Uh, more episodes, more all that stuff. Uh, what, what podcast episode just came out? Oh, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Planes, trains, and a lot of lanes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, E, if people want to go to Hobos, where can they do that? We got a link tree, which will be put in the chat, and of course, it's always on the <laughs> under the video game. L a n k t r dot e e slash. A lot happening at once. <laughs> which is all gives you all our social media, our podcast studios. And the Twitch and the archive of the said Twitch. Pachidia and Archimedias. Yeah. Uh, so there's all that stuff. Uh, next week, it might be an episode. 
Yeah, it might be. <laughs> We're not sure. So time will tell. Eh? But uh, yeah, so go check all that stuff out for the easiest access to what we do. Yes, please. Um, everybody who was in chat tonight, thank you so much. Everybody watching the archive, thank you so much. Please go check out the podcast. It's a lot of fun. Everyone who pirated the episode, we know who you are. We're watching you, vampires. Uh, Robbie, thank you for playing, being here. Yeah. E, thank you. Yeehaw. Uh, thank me. Everybody out there, be safe. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we will talk to you again very, very soon. Have a great night and a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye. Bye.